And okay. uh, the quail is the baby Yoda who killed the Ewok, who then killed Luke, who I, killed the uh, Tonto. No, no, I want to. I'm going to start there. <laughs> yes, that was. I like Yoda is is inside a turkey. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> thank you for coming to yeah, w- sometime. whatever discussion that was, <laughs> turducken yes. discussion we were having uh, for episode 21 of the podcast. Uh, stupid questions, stupid answers. I got to think about that every time uh, where we talk about just some stupid crap. Uh, starting from our left here, we have John and Kyle and Andrew. Marcus the man boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I didn't think about that one. No, I thought you were gonna just stop at man. Michael, no. explain. Mark is no. the man boy. He's a grown man with the mind of a child. So, um, that's, so, so this is the first time you actually were accurate to your real oh, self. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there's the he, he enjoys. Um, he enjoys cartoon horses. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a, he's a he's a fictional character, mind. Video he. games, yeah. and uh, he definitely doesn't project. He does not mm-hmm. at all. No. <laughs> the look on your face, though, <laughs> as you were like trying Utter to surprise. <laughs> I was like, I didn't think of something ahead of time. <laughs> oh did. no, <laughs> a man younger than a man. <laughs> the man, what? not quite a man. What's what? something that's close to man, but not a man? A bo- boy. Oh boy, man boy, <laughs> man bear pig. Well, anyway, so we all bring a stupid question of some sort to the table, and uh, we all talk about it as serious as we can. But no, we don't. Uh, so, John, what do you got? So, I was thinking about that future episode or future Futurama episode with the worms. Which one? Did you just come up with this question downstairs? Yes. No. Oh, okay, because we had really? we were talking That's about Futurama surprising. earlier. We're always talking about Futurama. Yeah, Futurama is pretty topical. Getting away from the worms. If you could have like uh, OnStar for your body, where like. Someone else could, like, make you physically fit, and if you had, like, a heart attack, they could immediately just restart your heart. But you also had someone who always has, like, control over your body. Like, at any moment, they could just uh, freeze you in place. Would you want that service for all the benefits, or don't you want anyone to have that control? Mm-hmm. The answer is no. But, but, you, but you essentially but live forever. Is this, is this a life alert brand brain slug yeah like they'd exercise That's you in your sleep uh, if you had a stroke they'd immediately just burst that thing so that blood could flow again but yeah if uh, the cops didn't like you you wouldn't get tased you just uh pick the stop button yeah yeah definitely not um it, it so who has that button on uh, just uh, yeah it's on so it's a, wait, it's a so corporation a corporation has it has your brain bug then no just because then I, I've seen enough of like uh, like I'm um, thinking uh, what's the game? Um, we have a few. Deus Ex. Deus Ex. Okay. Where yes. that's like they get yes. they they build all these fake limbs and then the only way that they can use them is by getting people a certain drug that only they can make. So yeah. they give you something and then the only way you can live at all is by something that you have to pay for and it's essentially a drug mm-hmm. that isn't. Getting you high. It's a subscription service for life. It yeah. is essentially. Yeah. essentially how, Some, and sometimes not. How long would you live? When, as like, long as the. Well, what well, is actually, the average yeah. lifespan for somebody who subscribes to this service? A hundred. Oh, that's not that great. That's, that's not great at all. That's can you? Not, that's, that's not good enough. Thirty years longer than the average life expectancy. I mean, yeah, you, you I, don't I, I would that. need to hear like. 250 to subscribe to this. I fear not making it to 150. Well, <laughs> you're not making it to 50. <laughs> There's subscribers well, who haven't been dying yet. It hasn't been subscribed out yet. Yeah. So can you just uh, can you subscribe at any point in your life, or is yeah. it is it like at 20? You it's make- nanobots. They just inject them into you. Can Ooh, you wait a minute? Can you undo? Mm. It machine, takes so. a while to for the contract and the nanobots to die out. And you can never really be sure because what? you can't really see the nanobots what, anymore. What would happen if you had dementia and then you got the injection? Would that be you or would it be you the nanobots? Well, they could probably fix it. They, would they? Yeah, they'd fix it. They'd oh, they would fix the lasers dementia. In, yeah, lasers in your brain. Can they see if you if you started to have dementia, then I could see. It's like la- the it's LASIK for the brain. It, I think most fifty one thousand procedures. Yes, <laughs> all in the span of point one eight milliseconds. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people would subscribe to it if they were on death's door and they you were told straight up this is the only thing that can save you. But I'm guessing something yeah. like that might be more of a preventative thing too. Like it, yeah. it, so by you doing sell that, it like that. Yeah. But also then they're going to charge you to high hell. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. the premiums are going to be huge. That's a back to tank. Yeah. 
Back to tanks aren't real. Yeah, but the, but you, okay, he just is talking about. Real. <laughs> I mean, they yeah, are. They are. They're real. The nanites that you can inject into someone's bloodstream and then they can prevent strokes. Yeah, that, they, that they've exists already now. made nanites that can inject tiny amounts of serum into your into your cells. Okay. They can but find cells and then inject them with then, serum. Then I get my back to tank. Uh, what's it? I don't even. What's in a back to tank? It's a back to spit. Back. Tree and camels? It's just camel it's, spit. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. camel spit. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it ever was. <laughs> Turns you're, out, you're miracle. Just in one of the humps. That's what the humps are. They're, they're just people's just curled up. It was the Jabba clans. It's, uh, that's where Yoda was hiding out too. Yes, oh. hiding in the humps. Oh my god. Two little Yodas. The humps and the humps. Lovely the humps. camel humps. The lovely lady humps. Camels. Oh no. What were we talking about? Lovely Java humps. No. Nanobots oh, yeah. on Star and Yoda so guys, inside bull, of a turkey. So why does it have to be? I, I was on saying star? no. Why? That's, that's a good similar. I want to know why, like GM, just decided to get into the medical industry. Well, it's because of this ass money. But uh, I do like the well, idea of like you just no, like hit the button. They're like yeah. on Star, how can I help you? I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Let us connect you. Hold on a minute. Yes. Do, do, <laughs> You're just do, do. riding. No, no, no. Floor. It would never be. It would never be a. Uh, uh, we'll connect you to something. It'll be a, oh, no, uh, would you like us to fix that? The charge will be $48,000, 48 cents. Yeah. yeah. And you'll be like, Actually please, God, not. do it now. Well, that's, that, that's how the medical industry works now. It, no, it, yes, but it's so much I'm more having a stroke. Oh, if you'd like us to fix your stroke, please flop your functioning arm three times. <laughs> well, I want to see where they get budget cuts and suddenly, like, they're doing overseas calling for it. And you're like, I'm having a stroke. And Hello? they're like, wait, I don't understand. And they're like, Hello, oh. please speak up. <laughs> your your uh, head microphone is very scratchy. I can't hear you. Are you flopping around on the floor? <laughs> no. <laughs> a stroke victim. Uh, all yes. over the floor. All, all over the floor. floor. No, I don't think I, I wouldn't want that. No, I, I just, uh, death happens. I would rather have it happen. Um, if every and something like that would probably be super expensive because the rich are going to drive up that price so much to get it that it's never going to hit yeah. the public. I uh, I feel like I wouldn't want it until I had no other option. Well, and then you want it yeah. while you were having a heart attack. Yeah, put it well, in right now. Yes. Well, that's all the the medical industry would turn into is uh, somebody friend an ambulance shows up with a syringe of the nanobots and inject into you, and you that's what you get. Yeah, but then it would yeah. be take me to the, it'd be take me to the hospital or inject it. No, that's one all, is there, way there, more expensive. There is no take you to the yeah, hospital. Why would they spend thousands of dollars training someone to be a doctor when it's just? Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I suppose you're right. It, it would just be. Do you want the injection? It'll cost this much, and you're just like, kill me. It's like, well, <laughs> now I'm thinking they're gonna like the guns from. Um, what, uh, I forget. Psychopaths. Psychopaths kind of a thing where just all the police's guns are just the nanobots. And if they're having a heart attack, you just go bing, bing, bing. And then they're all good again. But if they're being a bad, you can go bing, 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 and they explode. Ooh, nanite explosion sounds neat. They, just go, they, in, they just go into your brain and rip it apart. Well, no, psychopaths they just is a turn off the spine. Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. I'm thinking about a gun that you're shooting the same bullet, essentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, the gun. They're just programmed different. Just, yeah. It's just you yeah. turn yeah. it from heal to stun to kill. Whoops, I hit the kill. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, Sorry, if, Jimmy. You, if you were to shoot somebody with a nanite bullet and it was to kill them immediately, it would be very easy to kill them with nanites and yes. very quickly. Well, if you time. were to. Why bother with nanites? Why not just oh, uh, here's some Clorox. Yeah, no, that would no, be nanites cheaper. Could, nanites could work much well, better. Nanites could do other things. So you, yeah, because yeah. you could make it do, you could be a Clorox, or it could be uh, like it it gets you with a neurotoxin that could hit super quick or something. Um, or it could have the programming portion is a big part. Or they might have enough in there to provide enough electric shock to knock the person out immediately before just letting them explode. They could just disable their nervous system. Yes, that would be the case. Yeah. Well, that's where we're just going to get the chip in the back of our head, and then the gra the, the police can just be like, boop. And it as explodes. Lo as long as that uh, same chip lets me hook up to virtual reality, I'm cool. There was a whole YouTube series that did that about, like, oh, a chip. Gaming. A yes. chip you can put gaming. in your brain, and, and you can see things, and people would, like, drive while watching stuff, but then it was illegal. But then somebody found a way to activate it over the network to have it stop your heart. And so basically everybody in the world had this thing and the only people that survived it were the people that were under a structure that wasn't getting a signal. Mm -hmm. And so they nobody would leave because as they went to walk out of the building, they would just topple over and then have a heart attack. And so they're like, where do we go? And so it was that's just, neat, actually. So if it was you had electronics series. in your brain, would you want Wi-Fi or would you want like a USB port? 
Into my brain? Yeah, no, it would, it, I, I would require it. It would definitely you not need be Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? No, I no, would, no, it would not be Wi-Fi. I, no. I kind of don't like the idea of Wi-Fi because somebody could just kind of access stuff, but I also don't like the idea of U- uh, USB because of how often they change the standard. HDMI ports? HDMI for what? Yeah, all individual. it is is it changing one of my movies in your brain. As long as I get my 3.5 millimeter, Apple can't take that away from me. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> going to be a lightning port. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no. I, need, I need it like... Headphone uh, jack in your ear. It's going to be a yeah. Tesla brand jack into your brain. They're going to change it every five no. years. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Like even USB, they're not, they have changed. USB there's USB A, USB B, USB C, USB. Uh, there's, there's another, there's USB. Same thing, fifth. A's wider. No. No. Like a, the the nor, there's the normal USB, but then there's USB C, the, the rounded one. And then you have USB A. Which is, I believe, one of the little fatter ones. You have USB Micro, uh, mm-hmm. and then there's another fatter one uh, that's USB Micro plus a bit, which is what I use for one of my hard drives downstairs. There is a lot of types of USB. All of them at the one end is the normal USB, but the other end is all over the place. I feel yep, like fine. Theory. You just go back to the audio, vi- the AV cables. Just here's your red one. Here's your no, yellow no. one. Parallel port. Oh, yellow IDE red just like like the chonker like yeah, this. with the screws on either the screws side. On either side. Mm. Oh yeah, that's great. That's how you get into the matrix. That's Bring an analog back analog. Yes, yeah, an analog signal. So what is it, bit per line? Uh, yes, yes, it was. Yep. Ugh. Well, anyways, that de- we deviated a lot on that one. So Kyle, what was yeah, your was. Yeah. mine? Was really stupid. I my my question was. We also if... make fun of you for actually always saying that every time. I know, but this one's really stupid because it, it <laughs> it's it's straight up. What if trees were made of meat? Trees, they yeah. fall over. No, they would be very squishy. What if they had a lot of muscle in them? How do you know that they're not? They'd have to be flexing constantly. They'd get tired. They, they flex would... right now. What you're describing is the trees from like the Wizard of Oz, where they were just throwing crap at people when they were angry. Yeah, but like, they're made of meat though. Muscle they're can't mad. stand forty feet tall. But the, my concern is so. If it's a muscle and a meat that can get all of its energy from the sun, mm-hmm. they're going to take over the planet. Yeah, that's terrible. Because, like, normally, like, <laughs> that kind of thing is down the food chain. Um, but also, like, it, 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 if it's flexing all day, I'm going to feel demasculated. Could you imagine how much yeah, beef wait. would be inside those? Why is that? Too? No, beef, wait, beef is a cow. So if these are, no, like the, if these are tree uh, jocks, what would a nerd tree be? <laughs> what a nerd tree. No, it would be soy. It would definitely be a soy have, tree. Here's a beef tree. A soy a tree. <laughs> One has little wimpy leaves. Yeah. Let's say kind of like a whipping, weeping willow, but I like weeping willows. Weeping, weeping willows are great. Nice trees. But I used yeah. to have one in my backyard when I was lived with my parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big they have willow. actually fantastic lumber for like making crafts out of it. Yeah, it was great when it got struck by lightning, and uh, <laughs> then it wasn't there anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they need lots of water. Wait, well, what, happened if, what would happen to woodworking if it was just meat trees? Oh, you, Lady yeah. Gaga did that with her dress. Yeah. Wait, but people don't, people don't wear wood. Yeah, they they don't. Don't. except for shoes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> except for when they do <laughs> meat claws and toggles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Well, if it was, I don't know. Actually, if all trees were suddenly meat, imagine society when we do not have any any paper. Uh, all our paper would be gone. Uh, all this, like a t- mm-hmm. the tables, would be gone. No, no, it would Wait. be made out of meat. Meat well, tables? if it's just something, when it's just meat, rot, meat, and... meat tables, no hard pressed meat, meat, uh, meat products. Well, so wait, it's meat that doesn't rot when it's dead. Well, you, well, we've we've made processes to make meat tree into. Well, if the more inside stable. is meat, is the outside skin? What would it be? Maybe maybe is it bark har- meat? Is it is hairy? It, do you have hairy trees? Mm. Hairy trees. And is and if you stab it, is that maple or is it is it? Is it wait, can I do make sap? Would maple syrup just be blood? Would a tree become a fursona? Wait, does that, mean that, <laughs> does that mean that the blood of Christ is actually maple syrup? Oh, my God. It might be, actually, at that point. Was, was ancient Jesus a tree, or was he a man? Oh, and then what would an apple be made out of? Definitely not what you think is going to make it out. <laughs> because it's the reproductive organ of a tree. No, yeah. Yeah. And it's, the rest of the tree is meat. It's just well, organs. I mean, like, this one's a liver. Yeah, and, uh, uh, there's a pancreas. Yeah, we're eating the like trees sperm. We were trying not to say that. No, I, I wasn't going to say no, that. <laughs> no, that Michael, that is pollen. We're breathing the tree sperm. Mm. Oh, you're right. Oh, yes, yeah. the uh, the apples would definitely be going. Oh, that oh allergies. 
Oh, oh no! no. Just, just crying and your mm. eyes watering. What kind of Michael? Why? What kind of a sneeze? Why do this? No, what quite... kind of a sneeze would that oh. be? Oh. oh, oh! Wait, does that mean that we're part tree now? Are we? Or is that what already happened, and that's why we exist? I, I, I already regret feel... this question. Actually. No, it's actually I, pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. this question is awful. I take it I'm back. I'm just picturing coconuts. I feel so. No, <laughs> coconuts. I like coconuts. God damn it! The story of the birds they and the like bees you. changes a lot, considering what the job of bees were. The, bird, the, bird, the birds, <laughs> the bees, and the trees. Oh, oh. Oh, They're no. all connected. Watch. Oh my God. Uh. Um, I'm just trying to think like all of all of our infrastructure, like all the houses are suddenly just kind of like drooping. We're switching to bamboo. Yeah, we're, we're no, but no. Is that a tree? It, no, it's a grass. It's a grass. It is a grass. So is it only trees? You're talking. Wait, you're talking I, I was saying trees. Yes. So okay. a palm. But they're the most. A palm isn't technically a tree. It's a big finger. Yeah. No, but a palm doesn't have like rings. It's like a, it's like a. That highly involved I would, fern. I would classify it as like like how a cactus I would classify as a tree. Wait, right? a cactus is cactus definitely not a tree. Yes, it's it is. A tree. It is not. It is a small spiny tree. No. I watched Discovery Blue Planet. Th- that doesn't make anything yes. right. <laughs> it, it's green and it's tall. Therefore, yes, they, they, they have multiple limbs. It's a tree. <laughs> Wait, Wait, so multiple like, meat limbs. It's an, a tree. An alligator. It's green <laughs> and it's tall. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, so now it's made of meat. Yes. It, it Alligators are now made of meat. Yes, now the, a tree. Me, the meat trees were already <laughs> real. I like how we we did. So before we even started, we had the discussion of what is a brick, and like yep. we had we've done the what is a sandwich and what is a soup before. Yep. And it's amazing how many single word things we take advantage of thinking we know what they mean. And like, what's a tree? And then it comes down to is a character's a tree. It's an alligator. Like, what? No, no, we've now devolved into. It's an alligator. An alligator is a tree. An alligator is a tree. Oh, so he's a meat tree. It, yeah. it, it would be alligator classified as a meat tree. Yes. Yeah. Alligators are meat trees. Like our our universe, not f- fanciful my universe, meat tree. So you would turn the whole world into a bunch of angry <laughs> alligator, alligator trees. I didn't say that the trees wouldn't try to kill people. Wait, I no, they definitely. Wait, they definitely will. If they're, they're made of meat, they'd be carnivores. I guarantee it. Also, the question: bush versus tree. A, a bush is not a tree. So it's the female. Yes. So I know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> but what, at what point is a tree be- or a bush become a tree? Is there a certain height? Uh, the genus. What, what is? We've it? already <laughs> said. If, we've already said that palm trees aren't trees, and if we're but going I, by genetics, bushes are more trees than palm trees, and more than cactus. Mm. Yeah, much more than cactus. It's cactus <laughs> is not a tree. I mean, it's, it's not a tree, Kyle. Yes, but if I say I that I'm, Michael's but if I say this. that I'm wrong, but the thing is, <laughs> it'd be different if I said I was wrong. But, he's but not if I'm wrong in my wrong. but if I'm wrong in my own hypothetical, then it makes me even more of an idiot. So no. like, it hurts no. even worse. Hey, I, you said it was a stupid question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take no, the L. Uh, take, take the L. The L. I feel like Michael is very much enjoying this because he's like, now you know how I feel, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Now you, you know what? Do this to me all the time. <laughs> the alligator would like to be a tree. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh. It he, sits, it sits sensitive. still in the water like a log all the time. He's sensitive. <laughs> he's, he's a very sensitive, sensitive alligator. He wants to do photosynthesis. He's green, but he but wants no. to live as a that's tree. Green eggs and ham. That's where it comes from. The tree egg? Wait, comes green from... ham comes from a tree? Oh yeah. my god, is well, that yeah, what happens? Meat. Is that what happens when you crack open a coconut? That's, that's a, a green, green egg? egg. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's an ostrich egg. Oh, no. A green ostrich. Ostrich eggs aren't green unless you feed them a lot of kelp. <laughs> Or paint it. <laughs> Easter, Easter bunny. I just had a flashback when I was eating a cantaloupe or a coconut with a, a cantaloupe. I, <laughs> no, I had a. I bought a coconut one time. Half loaf. And the only thing I had to eat, uh, crack it with was a hammer. So I just bashed it with a hammer until I f- broke off enough pieces to eat. That was a fun time. Yeah, well, how you did you get the? Ju- how did you get the milk? Um, it kind of just went all over the place. That's that's wasteful. Sorry. That's almost as wasteful as the time I put a lime in a coconut and 
drank it all up. Isn't, isn't coconut <laughs> milk? You didn't actually do that. No, I bought a coconut at your place. I bought a coconut, and we all had coconut juice or coconut milk, and it was oh, this tastes really great. But I said, wait, wait, no, I'm gonna put lime in it, and then we all tried it after I put lime in it. It wasn't good anymore. It wasn't and good. And coconut all, milk plus lime does not equal good. It it becomes medicine. It becomes something. It else. becomes like voodoo medicine. They yes. meant Malibu yes. rum, and not coconut. Yeah. Yeah, lime and Malibu. Good lime and actual coconut. Isn't coconut no. milk like a natural laxative? Why did you bring up poop? <laughs> I didn't. You said poop. We're talking about meat trees, Michael. God damn it! <laughs> Still <laughs> topic. If you're, you're right, a, if with you're a, pouring <laughs> coconut milk over raisin bran, then maybe. Yeah, with the no. with the meat trees Wait, give you no. the runs. Wait Muse, a minute. Muesli and coconut milk. If meat trees exist, where does the not meat go? What not milk? What not meat? What are you talking well, if, about? if a tree is made out of meat, what what's it doing with the not meat? Wait, what, what? are you talking what about? You talking if it about? is meat, then the not meat is not a tree. Okay, it's not. <laughs> just I don't know what you're. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm if a vegetarian. The trees are meat. What about the rest of the planet? <laughs> it doesn't change in this scenario. It's all everything meat in now. the world is meat or not meat. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy categorization. Yes, there is either meat or there is the things that get turned into meat. Inside of chicken is meat. Outside of chicken. It's not meat. <laughs> Feathers are not meat. Welcome to my TED Talk. It's very, it's, very, it's very caveman TED Talk. Meat. Thunk, thunk. Not meat. Yeah, that's all it is. It's, it's At, keep... Inside animal, meat. Outside animal, not meat. Bitey. Very bitey. Tree, not meat. But what if tree was meat? <laughs> <laughs> the caveman style that's, that's what this conversation is. Yeah. Well, oh, welcome, welcome to our caveman TED Talk. I hope you're enjoying this <laughs> evening. It's been 35 minutes. I hope you've learned something. All right. Well, I'll go on to mine then. So mine was, uh, let, imagine that a, a button was placed into like the mitter, middle, mitter, uh, into the middle of a big public park. I'm imagining it. And we, oh, yeah, okay, so they just made like a fake button here. So there's a big button in the middle of a park. And you can determine what happens when that button is pushed. You know, there's nothing you prevent to put around it, but when that button is pushed, anything can happen. What would you do? Oh, fuck, I press it. No, no, it's not about no. you pressing it. You determine what the button does, and it's oh. in a big so like open... It, it it's kills a, someone somewhere in the world, or a bunch of gak drops on a person, Yeah, it's, or, a, it's just a big, obvious red button that everybody <clears throat> is going to want to push, but there is no warning or anything. It doesn't say don't push. Or a fairy dies. Yeah, something or... like that. What would you want the button to do? I feel like somewhere someone is wearing like a big down coat. But I just, I, I instead want to fill that down coat with like 400 times the amount of down that it can fit. And so they're just walking down the street very cold. The puffy coat. And then they get very puffy. And then they get really puffy and then they explode. Okay. So but anybody. It, but, it, but it's not harmful because it's down. So so somebody, ran, some child going up there and just slamming their hand on the button. Yeah. There's a lot of people in like Siberia who are very upset that their, their jackets got ripped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just want to tear up people's jackets, eh? <laughs> Something so little, but yet so important. To my my first so thought bad. was murder, but uh, yeah, you, you do tend to go to murder first. <laughs> I'm gonna dial it back. I'm gonna dial it back. So I feel like it's the mustache. May, maybe, but uh, no, I I still have ethics. <laughs> Unlike your mustache, with murder or well, ethics or ethical murder, they, they keep me yeah. from the murder. Oh, yeah, it's ethical called a conscience. <laughs> yes, I've got this little cricket who says, "No, don't, 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 please, for the love of God, not again. Your life down. We'll go to jail. I can't go back there." <laughs> um, anyway, it's the third time this week. <laughs> no, uh, anytime someone pushes the that button, a billion dollars from the currently richest person on the planet go just. Goes to charity. Yeah, but they're just okay. going to write it off on their taxes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, but, yeah no, actually, if you're worth $60 billion but if it's, and you give $60 billion to okay. charity. But, yeah. if, but if it's Which stolen, and if just a billion dollars doesn't exist anymore in that person's bank account, they're going to go to the IRS and be like, oh, yeah, that was a mistake. And they're going to take everyone's, <laughs> they're going to take everyone's tax money and then refund that person this that billion dollars. This is a magic dollars. button. Well, how yeah. long do you There's think, no undo. How long do you think it would take... 
before somebody figured out that that those two events are connected. Are we, they start killing people over the blood. Wink. And what do you think that the rich would do about it? They kill people. Yeah. Immediately. Then it goes to murder. <laughs> no. So John was like just taking the long way. No, I, I am not doing murder. I'm not making anyone do murder. I'm just making people uh, help people in a way that inspires murder. I'm just imagining. But, what, but would the charity even be able to use that billion dollars considering they just got it out of thin air? Yeah. It would well, take it a little while to allocate. Kyle. And it, depending on how they got it, it might not appear in their bank account. And the person running it's, the financials. Yeah, it's a uh, pile of non-sequential bills. I guarantee if you saw if you saw a billion dollars come into a charity's bank account, like if you're like doing something really small, like it's like it's a, it's a small town charity, and you just get a billion dollars, like, well, that's a mistake, and you just you just completely ignore it. Yeah, but it's like a pile of money on your doorstep. Yeah, but if you don't accept it, if it's a billion, you, you say, "Oh, this is a mistake." Um, well, you contact it, the bank. Someone, someone will take this pile of money away. Well, from you, me. Got, you John, contact the bank and you ask if this is a mistake, and the bank's like, "Oh, this is definitely a mistake." John, if it was a pile of money and it's a billion dollars, yeah, even it's a big at pile. even at a hundred dollar bills, we're talking like. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> like it's a pallet of multiple money. No, I don't even, I think a billion would probably require multiple pallets. They're just parking the freaking 52 footer on your lawn. Yeah. What, what is the pallet of dollar bills that's in the U.S. Mint that's worth? Is it worth a million or is it worth 500,000? No, I don't dollar bills? They, they have in the U.S. Mint that you can do like a little tour, they have a pallet of $100 bills and they say it's this amount of money. And it's like a, it's a, it's a, what what is it? A, a five foot by five foot by four and a half foot pallet of one hundred dollar bills. Like how much was that dollar bill be amount, and then how many of those would it take to make a billion? Okay. Uh. Okay. It says we're well. A uh, measly one million looked a little impre- unimpressive. Hundred million is a little more respective if it's neatly on a standard pallet. So one hundred million. So is, 10 pallets. Is a pallet. So a billion would be 10 pallets. Be 10 pallets. But yep. if that child was just slamming their face on that button, <laughs> <laughs> like there's trucks backed up down the street. It would and, go to different charities. Well, yeah, eventually going to. Like Feed My Starving Children would get one, and then uh, like the St. Jude's would get another one, and uh, like the Red Nose Society would get another but one. But you're, you're just saying charities, though. Does, does it doesn't matter what charity it is. No, it doesn't matter what person it is. It's just whoever's the oh. richest at oh. that time. Oh, so the, all, no, that pallet yeah, is the with ri- $100 bills. Yeah, yes. the richest person yeah. in the world will keep going down until they're not the richest anymore. Then the second richest will go down, and then it will just keep... Well, then they're going to start dueling rich people. Yeah. And then they're all just going to pretend they don't have any more money anymore. I can't go to space anymore. They're going to catch on quick. Their accounts are going to catch on quick. Yeah, but this is magic. Accountants can't... There is an like magic. <laughs> there is an accountant charity so that got paid. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Have you seen? Have you accountants seen? can't fight magic. You know what? That's, you sh- that's, what say. that's what I got off of this. Accountants can't fight well, magic. No. Fuck them. <laughs> they'll try and they'll try, but they can't do it. Have you seen Mitch McConnell? He's definitely a mage. He can definitely. He's not an accountant. No, he's a, he's not a mage. He's a dark wizard. wizard. He's, he's a not wizard. an accountant. He's <laughs> okay. Different. Okay. Uh, okay so is, wait, what, you, what is your button? Why was your is button going to kill Mitch McConnell? <laughs> What, wait, topical. wait, there's, um, you only get hit the button topical. once. Topical? Yeah. How long have people wanted to kill Mitch McConnell? I imagine at least 35 years. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, like, I like how many of you're like, if you were, I was thinking, like, you press the button and it makes a puppy smile or, you know, cures cancer. But where's or, the wait, death? Every <laughs> time you press the button, it cures cancer. I press the button once. For whoever presses it, you got to get the the longevity out. What happens? Wait, gonna, people will travel to the button. Wait a minute, is it, it, they will worship it as their messiah. It, it will become their <laughs> new, new god. I was about to say, like if that, if, if something were to be of that significance, like it, it doesn't just give somebody money or destroy somebody's down jacket. It instead. Cures an incurable disease. That button no, would no, immediately no. become. There's sacred. a caveat. It either cures the cancer, or it makes, a puppy or it smile. makes the puppy smile. <laughs> only one, and you only get one. So if so the puppy press... frowns at you, yes, you're, you're gonna you're live. Good. How does a puppy smile? 
puppies. They yeah, do. They they're do a puppy. Puppies, they're a puppy. They always but, smile. But puppies always no. smile. Then why do we need yeah. to make them smile? No. If you press the button and it cures your cancer, you? the puppy stops smiling. So its face breaks and it dies. Well, that's an easy choice. <laughs> God, sorry. It implodes. It kills well, a puppy. Are you saying the puppy yes. implodes? Yes. You're either oh, sacrificing no. a puppy to cure your cancer or you're not sacrificing a puppy. See, but it's very Oh, happy. God. I'd rather have cancer. <laughs> he made a smart thing. So he did, but yeah. I was kind of leaning that way, so it's fine. Yeah, I I make things dark. Yeah, like I just like the idea of somebody pressing the button and looking at a puppy and it's smiling. They're like, "Damn <laughs> you! I wanted to live." Is the nearest puppy? Oh my god! Hey, hey, you ate a, a puppy within there. How like, do you replace shot. these puppies? Is there a conveyor belt of puppies? <laughs> it's just, so there's it's a like lot. A, it's like, make it's it. like a sushi conveyor belt, but with puppies. Wait, so is it is it work the other way though? So if the puppy smiles, somebody with cancer explodes? No, they just don't get cured. No, they just don't get cured. I, I kind of like that idea it, of you hear somebody explode, then you're looking around and you see somebody like Jeffrey, and you're like, "Who?" I just like the idea. idea. No. Is it the person who pushes it who has cancer? Yes. What if they don't have cancer? They can get cancer if the puppy smiles. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just so, to push the button to wait. No, then all you're doing is pushing the button to see if you can make a puppy not smile. Yes. Why? I don't know why. Why would you do that? I don't know why you would do that. You know what? If you try to do that, you deserve cancer. Uh, puppy <laughs> smiles will become unanimous Wait, okay. or whatever with like misery. So when you when you see a puppy smile, you will think nothing but dark thoughts. So I'm just, I'm just picturing. <laughs> This conveyor belt of puppies, and like people protesting and trying to get them off that conveyor belt of death. No, I like the idea that every it, you could it's just like, if you just keep hitting the button, you just keep getting and not getting cancer. And as you do it, every other button push, a puppy explodes. <laughs> <laughs> like you can just it's keep like going. You get one. You get to press it once. I Wait, did. No. I did. One, in, Argo no, in his question said, "There's no velvet ropes. You don't get yeah. to decide who goes up there. You set what the yeah. button it does. Only works That's once. it. Well, he said once, but he, yeah, I I, and, I implied it as being one. Nobody Wait. knows what it does. No backsies. You either get puppy smiles or life. You don't Wait. get both." Oh, these are Spider-Man rules. Everyone gets one. Everyone. Oh gets my one. God! How and many people would die of cancer and die? Of, and how many puppies would die of not smiling before they figured out the correlation? Look, you've got a fifty percent chance of getting cancer. That is like well, off I, the I, charts. I know, but it, I, I know, but it's not. It's that not. That button's radioactive. It, but it, but it's not like going to happen right away. So you're going to be pre- people are going to be pressing that button for years before what, they figure what it out. What stage, Michael? Uh, well, the stage like they'll be dead by morning. So it's. Oh, stage well, five. Well, yes. then, stage five doesn't exist. Wow. Then but, why are you saying cancer? Just do arsenic poisoning. No, it has, <laughs> they have to know. No, it's like, like Joker toxins. It's, like, it's, your face is going to melt, or the puppy's face is going to melt. Do you make the, your choice? Do this you eat escalating. the Tide Pod, or you make the puppy frown? <laughs> this is Saw for puppies. <laughs> uh, Why okay. do we have Saw Puppy Edition? Well, okay. It's devolved into this, yes. and I'm sad. Yes. And, can, yes. and you wanted to keep it positive. No, yeah. so for me, what I was going to do is probably the most deba- dola bio- dola bolical, diabolical. 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 Uh, thing, Debauched? Uh, deba- sure. Uh, possible. And that is what? that the Debauchery. button... The button would do nothing. So because what? everybody's going to hit the button and Wait. they're going to be spending years trying to figure out what this button is, no. why it's there. No, why would they, no, even, they would no. never. They and would. they're going to tie it to things that have happened. No, why and would they? Because because we're American. What, what kind of advertising are you going to put out for the button? That no, there is no advertising. There's no, there's someone dropped a button in Central Park. People would see it, press it. Then walk away. Yeah, but it's the, suddenly, and it would go away after forty years. And then no, no, it stays the there. Germs. They can't move it. It's a forever button. Oh wait, no, wait. This, no. Th- this is any the object you put. There's this object okay. there that that we can't move. There was there was a qualifier it wasn't there to your before. Button question then. It's, it's like the, the obelisk, like the yeah. 2001 Space Odyssey obelisk, yeah. except it's a red button. Or have it like after like I have more terrifying to be honest. After like a million pushes, like that person just dies. And then, like, so then, like, there's something attached to this, and then still nobody knows. And then, like, they got, like, guardrails around. They built a pyramid on top of it. Well, I mean, well, that's I, the thing. You Anything that would be that sort of mythical would become a religious icon. It's, it's like the Dead Space series. Like, anything that humanity is like, well, that, looks pre- that looks pretty neat. It does some crazy bullshit. I guess we should worship it. Well, I say <laughs> nothing happens, though. Like, yeah, nothing happens. Nothing? Yeah. Like, there's not even a satisfying click? 
Oh, no, there's a button. I mean, the button does button things. It kind of, it kind of, it's like, does, a, is there a good, a little, is there, is there a good, like, tactile feel to the button press? I feel like, oh, yeah, no, this is a, this is a quality button. Ooh, oh, I feel good. like mm. all the people pressing Doesn't this. Does it light up when you're pressing it? Um, no. That would be I, a I would say it's, but it's one of the big ones that, like, you kind of got the majority of your hand calm. over there. Yeah. Ooh, and you, you get, good, like, you get a full, you gotta calm it. Yeah, and you get, Ooh. but it's got that, like, 0.8 Newton resistance as you're just starting Ooh, to press wait, it. Wait, no, it, it does, it have one, does it have one of those plastic lids that you have to flip it open no, yeah, before you can no, press it? That's that, a lot um, of effort. That, yeah, that, well, that's more that, of a switch that, thing. This is definitely, this is COVID. That's like a double. That's what I was getting at. This is definitely going to be a super spreader event. Everybody touching this button. Is there a thing of Purell right next to it? There better be. A, yeah, but a, it's a out. A bottle of Purell. Oh, an empty bottle of Purell. It's an empty bottle of Purell. Like, it never gets filled it's, because, it's it's because It's because the staff couldn't literally not give a shit. It's just like what you, you want to watch. Because who's going to pay for it? The state? We got a, we got a sink over there or something. Well, we don't have soap in the dope soap dispenser, but it has water in it. Oh. Anyway, that question actually went a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> and there was in the amount of death I thought there would be, so I'm, I'm not pleased yes, with that. Yeah, so, Michael, what age-old question do you have to ask no, now? It's very relevant, uh -huh. like, okay. to recent stuff. Okay. Like, within like, the past 10 years? You tell me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's too old, he doesn't remember. Um, so, uh, like, I was thinking, like, oh, no. Pee-wee's Playhouse. Oh, <laughs> no. God. The answer no. is no. No. <laughs> is is Pee-wee's Playhouse one of the seven levels of hell? No, no, and, and I all, haven't even seen it. And all the furniture are trapped souls. I don't know what you're talking about. Damnation! You're old. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, it's not hell. It's like just, it is for the furniture. It is, it's someone's personal hell, but it's yeah. like one of those like ironic like uh, oh I, I win every time I play the slot machine. It's like hell for one person. Well, what about like the the clock forever? <laughs> Has sentience, capable of speech, forever. His entire purpose is to hang on a wall and tell you the time. What do you mean, like you mean, like Dora the Explorer, with like back plat, like Beauty and the back, Beast, back, back, back Yeah, plat. but at least they can move around. Like, he, they're anchored to a wall, and the only thing they have is a crazy man in Wait. a gray suit. No, is because to broaden it a little bit, yeah, is any children's television program? Hell for all the inanimate objects. Yes. Well, if they have sentience, yeah. yes. It's like the map in Dora the Explorer, the backpack. Just, oh, God, just, I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Oh, God, can I die? Smiling, smiling, well, map. Does the map get rolled up? It does. Yeah. Yes. It, then its face has been bashed yeah. against its own face. No, I think, doesn't its face... It yeah, just I thought, yoga. That's when it was. That's mad. yoga. That's well, intensive yoga. I'm just remembering. Yoga? Um, yeah, rolling yourself three times into a ball. So is it a map or just the world's most flexible person? He's well, it's, it's alive. alive. It's a square. It's definitely Talking. alive. Very flexible. Yeah. No bones, like a tree. I'm trying to remember yeah, all of just, the horrific. Just meat. Just meat. I, I think I've blocked out most of the horrific, like existential childhood memories that I have. You're in a yeah. big blue house. Well, I, I remember like uh, the the Lions Library. If you guys remember that one, Read Between the Lions. Read Between the Lions. Yes, no. which was fantastic. But they didn't have any inanimate objects in that. No, one. It, was it was just lions. family friendly reading. Yeah, and, was, uh, and no, he, those lions didn't move. No, they were puppets. Yeah, they were, but they never walked around. They were just. They yeah. kind of did. I, I'm There's just the statues in front of the they, library. Well, but they they had imaginations. They were inside the library. Things can have imagination and not move. Okay. I'm just imagining a scenario in which Pee Wee just gets a cat and it just oh. starts scratching at the <laughs> chair. And the chair can do nothing help to stop me. it. It can barely move. Chubby, help me! <laughs> he's, he's a head in the box. He's it's a hell, genie. remember? He shouldn't be able to help. It, if it, if, is this like where all the same layers of hell like are similar? So like the next layer is whatever the hell uh, like... Uh, hug me, I'm or don't hug don't me. Don't hug me, I'm scared. I feel like Pee Wee's Playhouse is below that. Wait, because mm. it's doing it non ironically. Where's Dora mm. in this versus Pee Wee? She's exploring, she's she's Dante. Yeah, but, yeah she's down there. <laughs> she's He's Dante in there deep. traveling through the seven layers the map in the backpack. Wait, <laughs> she she saw what Satan was packing. She's just like, What the fuck is going like, on down here? So, Dora the Explorer is Dante, yeah, Dante. yeah, <laughs> Dante's Inferno. From Dante's yes. Inferno. <laughs> Moya Stara, that's Satan. <laughs> Can you say seventh layer of hell? <laughs> 
Uh, no, I don't know. Spanish. I just started playing out scenarios in my head where the clock is just like he just breaks its hands. Like, what time is it? It's three o'clock. It's <laughs> always three o'clock now. <laughs> Daylight <laughs> savings time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So is Boots? <laughs> Boots the monkey? What the fuck? <laughs> he's he's, he's he a, a demon. Damn, he okay. So he's a demon. He's not a yes. damn soul because he has arms and legs and can yeah, walk around. He can move yeah, around. He has agency. Yeah, yes. Boots the monkey. Boots He's an monkey. agent of evil. Yes. Oh, uh, God, yes. No, he's definitely an agent of evil. Along with Pee-wee the Hermit, who's the demon who tortures the uh, sentient objects what is, is, home. Is Swiper like a Sisyphean sort of demon or something then? Because he, he must swipe. He sees something, he must swipe. Yeah, but then he can't. Yes, exactly. He's, he must a, swipe, a, but but there is no swiping. So it, as soon as he is told action. not to, he can't, and therefore it is a Sisyphean task to steal. Oh, darn. But he can't swear. <laughs> but he yes. can. Oh, <laughs> also, a Sisyphean task. Well, so, it, what, what, so, what would the other layers of hell be? Um, like, are, is it all Bar- just Barney shows? is in there somewhere. No, some of them are probably cooking shows. Like, I mean, I guess Wait, it's pretty literal. Yeah, happen. they're like, they're. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining like an infomercial that, some cooking show. Some of that food show. is a sin. There's no, no, those, an infomercial uh, cooking show. One of the shorts from, um, of, uh, Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah, actually, is like that. It's it's a food, like an infomercial for like selling a products, but they all end horribly. But it always comes back to everybody being fine. Like a, a an automated cutter that has like a thousand knives, and when you turn on, just all these knives like doing this, and it just mulls things. <laughs> and but he ends up. I think was that the one he got his hand stuck in, or was is that, that the, the third season? I yeah, I think yeah, no, it was the second season. What uh, it no, was, it wasn't a very good short. Um, because I always well. skipped it because it's not very good, but it mm. it's basically like it. The idea I think is the guy is stuck in a personal hell, mm. and there and he is like reliving these infomercials for disgusting and horrendous things, and he is always mm. presenting it. And sometimes he knows that's what's going to happen, and he just has to go through with it. That might not have been. Love, Death, and Robots. No, it's like, oh, no, I don't remember that at all. No, it wasn't. That, it wasn't that. It's a it Gordy was, Weaver um, one. Yeah, I think I think it was that one. Uh, it was like Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah, but um, live action instead of animated. Right. Yeah, well, there's some live action in Love, Death, and Robots too. Uh, it was no, like, all, oh, they're, oh, they're all all of that is animated. No, was it, no they had yes. the live action of the the one in the fridge. Yeah, the freezer was live action. Yeah, but the animation was the stuff in the fridge. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but there was there. still they were the majority of it. Mm. Yeah, well, he's it's, right it's though technically. Yeah. But um, well, Oat Studio is the thing you're thinking. Yes, Oat Studio. That one had a had a couple good ones in there, like that freaking like multi arm hand creature thing. Look, oh, that actually was really cool. But all the rest mm. were right, right. The, the, the sound effect you just gave made that sound like a clown, oh, which yeah. would make oh, that even oh, more. Look at my arms. I, oh. I'm going to try all my thumbs. <laughs> this one didn't work. Actually, hold hold on. That actually reminds me. Oh, Mike, that Michael. Was, uh, actually, I, I didn't know, remember what you were talking about, but then I suddenly remembered what you were talking about. It's so good. I love that. That was like. Um, that short? Uh, it, it was very yeah. much like a dead space sort of thing where yes. you got an amalgamate of just like. It's it's like an unknowable so, like conglomerate of flesh. So if anybody doesn't know what those, uh, Love, Death, and Robots is a series of a lot of different shorts. Each of it's like maybe two to ten minutes long, and they're all like kind of futuristic sci-fi stories. But uh, Oat Studios does something in a similar vein, but I think they all look at uh, the apocalypse, like the end of the world, and they get some really interesting ones. And the other is one of them of like this like creature that. I don't know what they somebody had been infected with, but it was just taking body parts from other mm. people. And, but they had a hand that was multiple hands, and everything was biometric. And when you have it, when it's trying to get through a door, and you can hear it go beep beep denied, beep beep denied, beep beep accepted, because it tried because all, it the trying all the different hands. Yeah. And it was like it was a type of psychological horror that works so good. It was, but it was, it was really cool. I think the lead up too was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Where that there slow was, burn, where it was very slow burn, where there was an entire like. It was like an almost ten. Five, it was like five it, was, minutes. it was five yeah. to seven minutes of just slow burn. Them sitting at a table and the guy is loading. He is blinded. He is bleeding from the eyes that got torn out of his face. And he's loading a magazine with rounds. Explaining and he's explaining right. what's going on. He's saying we can get out of here. We can do this. I know exactly where we need to go. My fingerprints get you where you need to go. We can work together. Yeah, and was, then and then then everything else happens. Yeah, that, so yeah, good. yeah it was, cool it was very well written. It seemed so boring at the beginning, but that was gave the humanized was, them. All so, of it was the um, well. I mean, they they put together characters. 
faster than I think I've seen most major oh, yeah. films no, do. No, that was very good. No, all of the rest of Oats is meh. That one I is I keep good. thinking yes. of Susu Studio, except Oat Oat Studio. Oh, oat Studio. Um, but no, I, when I was doing the huh sound, I, that reminded me. So, uh, Michael, can you do your goofy impression? <laughs> that it? No, that was actually. <laughs> You're, what? No, I'm no, goofy, huh? No, no, do, you, <laughs> no do your Max. No, do your <laughs> do your rarity clown impression. My rarity clown. Oh, impression. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Darling, is that it? I have no idea. No, that was actually no, weird. that was that no. Was... During the stream, he was asked to do a goofy impression, and it was it was actually everybody in chat's like, no, please stop. No, this is horrible. Well, like, that was awful, but like that wasn't quite the same. No, I can't remember anything I did more than fifteen minutes ago. Because you're drunk all the time. We're in a podcast. I don't, podcast re- right I don't now. even remember coming up here. You're drinking kombucha oh. right now. What is this? It's kombucha. It's kombucha. Awesome. You bought that? I don't know. It tastes good. <laughs> it looks, I like the color of it, but um, so okay. So we're gonna agree that it is the uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse is either a layer of hell or it is hell. I'm pretty sure they are all damn souls that are trapped yes. in that. No, place. we've we've agreed that this is a Netflix series that needs to exist. Yes, oh, a yes. live action Netflix series. Yes, right. like, like Old Studio Apocalypse, where he's the end of the world is caused by Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> if the flowers ever stop smiling, he won't water them. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, so for the next part here, we got some trivia. So I, I did grab some marble trivia. I'm kind of running low on. On trivia that works for it being trivia trivia or dumb trivia then uh, so we'll see well or yeah or we'll probably improv. go to improv trivia after this so I did grab some uh, so this is a two second trivia so everybody here is going to get be given two seconds to answer a question and so when you hear the bing it means that two seconds have passed are you so, giving me pity questions again so I can win uh no actually I really didn't I kind of split this up uh-huh. more based on the question than the answer like, so I will see. Um, but actually, you might get this first one, maybe. But so the idea is that they have to answer as fast as possible. So if they provide any answer, it's a point. It is if they get the correct answer. It's two points. If they say nothing at all, it's zero. So it incentivizes just opening your mouth. So they'll, we're uh, flexible. We're not uh, doing. We're not. We're, no, we're not doing. Uh, <laughs> it's the oh, barbershop quartet, and we sing <laughs> all the songs. Okay, so oh, oh, shit. <laughs> so John, I have your first question. Okay, what does the term "eigengrau" mean? A uh, bear of the sea. Bear of the sea. Ooh, eigengrau. It's interesting. I, I kind of actually like that one. Bear but, of the sea. But no, it is German. Okay. Drinking the beer. Okay. Uh, it is the uniform dark gray background that many people report seeing in the absence of light. So it is usually called brain gray. Or ah. So if you close your eyes and you perceive zero light, it is the the closest you can see to black. No, I understand. I understand your explanation, but the fact that he would understand what the question was. Amazing. That's the point yeah. of this. <laughs> Grau is German for gray. gray. Yes. And Eigen is I. I so I gray. gray. Yep. But like I, I wasn't given the language, and it was I don't understand that. what's Eigengrau? Um, what the fuck? The if, I have, this- if I knew if I said German, you would have already given me the answer before I gave you the word. Yeah. So. <laughs> no. So, but I lo- I love that that concept of it's like uh, uh, the idea that you can't see pure green because your red cones intersect with your green cones. But what's what is your what is your negative mind thought? Like mine is blue. Negative mind. Negative thought. mind. What, are you, like, what, what was that? No, you just, no, I'm saying like if if you, did you are a stroke, if, do you need some nanites? <laughs> no, I don't. Yes. Need, we I need don't some need nanites here. Nanites, nanites. Star, help us! But like if you if you have like <laughs> blue right your now. internal monologue has a certain color to it, right? No, what? no words no. don't make color. Yeah. No, it's just it's just the. If the, I the close tin. my eyes and stare so, at the sun, I see red. Normally, when you close I can your eyes, both at the same time. Yes. So the idea is that when you close your eyes, normally in a room, you're not going to have blue light. You're going to have some kind of orange. So when yeah. you close your eyes, it's going to be bluish. Like mine, mine is a very very gray, bluish sort of navyish color. Yeah, but it's probably because a lot of the area that you're in is yellowish. Uh, they're saying that if you're in a pure black room with zero light and you just sit there and let your eyes adjust, oh, that okay, color that you are seeing. You can never oh, okay. see so is that, pure is that black. Your, is that your internalized color? Is your yeah? My eyes. Well, it's, your eyes are always going to provide some data, and so you'd never be able to see pure black. 
But hmm. apparently some people can see different shades of things. So maybe you're just blue. Well, that what would if you remove the eyes? Yeah. Um, that actually would... That would actually that be would interesting. That would influence something. <laughs> yeah. I'm unsure how that would Because you're not well, going to be seeing green if you rip out your no, eyes. Maybe, <laughs> no, nope, maybe. Not even a little bit. You have phantom limbs, so could you have phantom eyes? So yes. could could other parts of your brain interfere with your eyes? Well, that would if, that would only be the case if you were in that sort of pitch black nature, and then you had your eyes removed. Um. Well, no. I'm saying like it, no. I'm saying like uh, is say you have whatever area of your brain that handles eyes is somewhere in proximity yeah, to your low. nose, and suddenly uh, no. over time, it's the complete. No, up. but I'm saying that what as an example, like if there was two things next to each other, uh, eventually your brain starts to compensate, and other your areas your brain cover. That's where like phantom limb comes in, where a sensation on one side of the body triggers what you thought of as your arm. I think you know, maybe. You know I a think really weird science thing that experiment. actually happens. A really weird Possibly, science yeah. experiment that they've done. They've it's taken blind people. And placed electrodes on their tongue. Oh, and, yes. And yes. allowed them to see via the electrodes that they're well, feeling on their tongue. I've, I've seen the data output of those tests, too. And it's basically just like little tiny, tiny white dots yeah. that are kind of they, – they, they make incredibly vague outlines. The the Elon Musk, like, brain uh, chip thing that they have going yeah, on Yeah, it's right enough now. so that you're not going to walk very, very into similar. a wall – but there's no way you're going to be able to read. No, you no, you you would never be able to read anything. You'd be able to see that this is a can and that's a bottle. Well, technology basically because the up, no. the up thing you'd is kind of be able to see yeah. it's it's small up here. If I put my hand, I can pick it up. Yes, yeah. So it's it's really interesting technology, and it does use the brain in very new and intuitive ways. But yeah, no, it's, there's some really interesting stuff with that. But air of the uh, sea, air yeah, yeah. of the sea, <laughs> air of the sea. You do Kyle. get a point. So Kyle, I have your question. So th- actually, everybody's first question has to kind of do with defining a word uh, okay. that I ran across of. So Kyle, your word to define is ner. Uh, far. <laughs> Wherever <laughs> you are. So how are your eyes? I'm ner sided. Uh, so, uh, no, so uh, NUR is NUR? spelled NUR is spelled G N U R R. Okay, so not only was I being fucked over by English, I was being fucked over by the English language. Yeah, you, is this you English? Just, you just said the same thing yes. twice. So, yeah, and not only am I being fucked, I'm being fucked. Uh, no, so uh, no, it is actually the technical name for pocket lint. Nur? Nur. G-N-U-R-R. Wait, see, I it, verified these after and, the fact. Wait, did you verify the pronunciation? Because is yes. it nur or is it nur? Gner, it's like, it's gner. Is it gnome? Gner. <laughs> no, I looked gner, it up. with a gnome. Um, so when I when I heard this the word nur, I just immediately thought of like neural, like a neuraled brain. Like, sort of like <laughs> neurology. Texture. Nerver, wait, so neurology is is a study of pocket lens. Yes, yes. If you're if you're nearsighted, it's it's all you can see is pocket. I feel like in two seconds, no one in the world would have come up with that. Eigen gray. No, Eigen growl. Wait, no, it's not Eigen. It's Augen. Um, Augen is German. Okay, so actually, I want uh, uh, Kyle. Okay, I want to have you ask this question. To, okay. to, to Michael, no, that's but I'm going to show it to you last second, and you can't laugh. Okay. Okay. I, I okay. If you yet. laugh, so, you lose a point. So you have to you have to you have to define the word he's going to say. Right. Okay. Sure. So you say the thing in the bold, Kyle. You ready? Yes. Okay. What is a haboob? Uh, it's a type of cylinder. <laughs> this is an Arabic <laughs> it's word. Haboob. <laughs> <laughs> haboob. No, it's a, a dust storm. Yes, it is actually. I thought you. I thought John, at least John was going to get John, it. Yes, it is a thick dust storm or a sandstorm that blows in the deserts of North Africa or Arabia or on the plains of India. You could have easily said that in two seconds. I am very disappointed. That I didn't know the German word, but I knew the Arabic word. If I would have said German, you would have gotten that answer. How yes. do you know the word haboob? I, I I figure like. No, because in the last twenty years there have been some of these in the U.S. I know, but there's really but like weird. there's haboob and habib, like they're no, so similar. No, I I love. No, because a haboob um, is you're looking out onto like a plane 
and you see just this giant wall of sand and dust coming at you that stretches from the ground to a mile in the air. It's amazing and terrifying and lightning. So what's I, a Habib then? No, That's no. the name of a guy. Oh. No, I think that this word was invented to kill Americans because the idea, the idea is, the idea is anybody visiting, <laughs> if somebody African points word. it off into the sky and said, Haboob! <laughs> All the Americans would just start laughing, and they would be left and outside. Everyone else yeah. would close the door. They would go cover inside. Their faces. So he said this boop. is a this is a yeah. They're like <laughs> he said boob. Americans are horrible and stupid, and they would just laugh at it. So and uh, we're uh, laughing yeah, at it now. We, we are. I like the word actually. <laughs> ah, boob. <laughs> boob. <laughs> he didn't say boob. Oh, uh, look at that death. All right, John. I got your <laughs> John. I have your next question. Uh, where? Can you find the islands of Langerhans? And a sphincter. Uh, <laughs> That's actually close. Oh, no. The islands of Langerhans? It's in your pancreas. What? <laughs> he was so close. You have to keep going through the sphincter. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I thought you would have just, no. like, picked a location. But, yeah, I thought I would get you with that. But I, I will give you, like, an extra half point for even just picking the <laughs> Wait body. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you, did you just choose your own asshole because that'd be funny? Yes. <laughs> and you were close? I was close. I was guessing my own ass. Yeah, what was so, it, the island of what? The islands of Langerhans are a cluster of cells within, with cells within the pancreas that are responsible for the production and release of hormones that regulate <laughs> glucose levels. This is the Scottish's fault. But yes, I went and looked at that. I ver- this is the Scottish's fault. I verified fault. that, Scottish. but I'm like, holy crap, he actually got way closer than I thought of. I mean, your butt is definitely closer than Greenland. It's, it's closer, yeah. It's closer than another continent, definitely. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh wow. Okay. Well, what yeah. The oh, shit? So John's in the lead with a half a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is actually what the shit. No, that would be right. even closer. No, I, that was like the trick question of all trick questions, and John just like rolled with it. All right. A boob. <laughs> um, boob. All right. Oh, so no. Kyle, I have your next question. You have a half a point to beat. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're going to get this one. Mm-hmm. So your question, one third. Of, I hit the button. Sorry. That was a different button. No, I hit that button. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're over. Going, bud. Your question is over. <laughs> no, my fingers are resting on the button. Kyle has an answer. He loses a point. <laughs> no, okay. All right. Hey. So Kyle, here's your actual question. One third of Taiwanese funeral processions include what? Uh, Taipando. What is a taipando? I feel like I'm giving What's you an answer. What's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever you're about to say. Wait, no, is it cherry soda? No. Oh. No, you're probably not going to get this. So, uh, it's technically a, f- a flower arrangement what would you arranged think in a person. Uh, um, vinegar? No. <laughs> I know People like vinegar. It's so a f- No, it is strippers. Oh. Okay. So a That's pi- what I said. A pious- vinegar. <laughs> no, so a pious son uh, hired several young women to form, perform erotic dances at the funeral procession so his father would not be lonely on his way to heaven, and it caught on. Oh. And Wait, so... That's a third. A third... No, so they that one person did it, and then everybody's like, hey... Wait, so... A third... Hey, you like vagin. It's like Queen Victoria's... A third of funerals. Uh, no, a third of funerals... And I'm guessing this isn't for the mothers. No. So well, this is no, two thirds no, of no. male funerals no, have well, strippers. Well, and it's a bachelor's party for heaven. And I guess in China, I think uh, this is a secondary thing I read. I think in China they also do it, uh, but it's mainly because the more people you bring to a funeral, it's supposed to be that the more important you were in life and yeah. to respect and everything. And what way to pull people in? Them pay free hot wings. So, but this is a buff. What this is Hooters? So, no. Hooters grand well, you have a buffet at a strip club, so you can go to Hooters and sign up to like for your grandma's funeral. No, we've already covered this is for the grandpapa. Oh, okay, mm. okay. yes, he has the hot wings. And so, I said grand- Taekwondo, which is technically Taekwondo, but for strippers. So, I was, I was necessarily correct. Grandma should get Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Uh, survey says, oh, no, 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 I'm not giving it to you because you're stupid. So, okay. <laughs> Michael, I have your question. Okay. You ready? Sure. All right. In 1987, a horse was qualified or was disqualified from a jockey club after winning a big race for what reason? Um, beer. 
Beer? It was drunk. Yeah, it was drunk. It was, it was drunk. It was drinking. Oh, what kind of oh. garbage is this question? I mean, kind of. Yeah. No, actually, it was ban- it was disqualified for eating a Mars bar. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is horse, one of the it was a I, I actually, Mars, bar. Mars bar belonged to one of the judges. No, I found I found Theft? I found Thief? the original article from 1987 <laughs> because 87? I wanted I, I wanted to yeah 1987. So the horse ate the candy bar the day beforehand, and it was considered doping. That because the so Mars bar cool. con- con- contained theobromine, which is a prohibited chemical because it is a stimulant. So by having it in its blood after the race and doing the testing, it was considered that it was cheating because it ate a Mars bar. Somebody had it out for the that job. Yeah. They, they were originally going to win $15,000. Instead, the guy was fined. How much? Wow. I don't know what the fine. Probably, was. A, probably you a find a for horse for eating. No, you didn't find. You find a jockey. You find no. You find, you find that team. horse. That yes. horse owes money. Yeah, you know? that, hor- that <laughs> horse better pull from his four hundred and one k. Like human <laughs> athletes think they have it hard. If they eat a candy bar as a horse, you get fined. Yeah. Damn it, Nestle. Yeah, all they no. want to do is smoke. Or the Hershey new mess. No, it's Mars. It's Mars bar. Oh yeah, it's Mars it probably bar. it probably yes. is. Mars is the company that makes Mars bars. Nifty, yes. Nifty. I don't want to sound wrong. So, John, what your next question? I have here for you. <laughs> the answer is Mars. Mars makes Mars bars. You're wrong. So the actual <laughs> answer to your question I haven't asked. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, no. Okay, John, I have your question. Uh, in what sport would you find a coffin? Uh, hurling. Well, okay. Can you explain? Like it's competitive vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was God. like the, the throwing of the thing. No, that's uh, the curling is when you have the stone on the mm-hmm. on the the ice, and you have got the the big pole. The Scottish game, Highland games, where you're throwing the big uh, logs. Hurling is just uh, you spin around a baseball bat and you vomit. Okay, so why is there a coffin? Oh God. Uh, you're vomiting into a coffin. I feel like oh. I feel like a coffin could be used as an occupied uh, coffin. Can anybody? No, else you, you need it to be empty so that you can get a volume metric or a volume uh, measurement before you die. No, it's a team sport, so everyone's vomiting oh. into the coffin. It's a vomitorium, and you've got little marks on the side, and you're seeing a. Like, is this is this like uh, paired with a hot dog eating contest? Or no, no, it, it's only beer. The, the entire team of 12 <laughs> is chugging, and then it's the amount that you can get into the coffin after you all do this. From one thing on the baseball. Yeah. No. From it's kegs. As, it's uh, as many kegs. Okay. But you each, in turn, do the spinning thing around a baseball bat, vomit into the coffin, and then you measure how high up on the side it goes. Okay, this is way more info than I thought That's you were. Yeah, yeah this is improv um, trivia, isn't so, it? So, no, no, it's not. But you were pretty close. It was cross-country riding. Uh, a, <laughs> so no baseball bats or vomit. Any any fence that they jump is called a coffin. Okay, so it's dressage. So, so we got to hope that the horse doesn't step in it, because <laughs> apparently they were doing a different sport before their cross country. And if they eat a Mars bar, they're they're disqualified. Disqualified yes, from the vomitorium. Uh, definitely. Uh, wow, that was a lot more context than I needed. All right, Kyle, have your next question. Your All right, uh, your next question is. Hugh Hefner's jet plane is named what? Sunny. Sunny? Yes. Why is it named Sunny? Well, it's mainly named after his uh, long lost dog that he uh, didn't find after one shoot one day. He shot the dog? Wait, no, the dog <laughs> was in one of the Playboy shoots? Yes. He was one of the dogs <laughs> that helped cure his cancer for someone. <laughs> when he didn't get the did, smile. Did it stop smiling? It definitely it stopped, stopped smiling. smiling. Oh, it didn't get its When it saw his lifestyle, he was very upset. Um, Wait, the dog was upset or was disappointed in Hugh Hefner. Yes. He he helped Hugh Hefner cure his cancer. He's dead now. Exactly. Uh Exploded. And now the dog's smiling. No, no. uh, (laughs) And rubbing his paws together. Close, though. It is animal-related. As anybody else, can they think of? uh, Actually, this isn't a difficult question. I forgot the question. Uh, what is H- the name of Hugh Hefner's plane? My pee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bunny? Uh, uh, uh? That's probably, uh... Biggest? Rabbit? No, no, no. It, no actually, I, I, you can always give it to John. It's Big Bunny. Big Bunny. Big Bunny. Chungus. Not Chungus. Big Chungus. Yeah, Chungus. Big Chungus. <laughs> yes, the Big Chunga Bun. Um... 
All right. Mm-hmm. So, Michael, I have your last question. Okay. Oh, I got to grab the button here. What was Bubble Wrap's original purpose? Um, I actually, no, I don't, the uh, purple. Uh, I'm going to let you, <laughs> I'm going to let you. Paper. I was going to say, I'm, I, I, I just, it was. I purposely right. ran out of it questions. Was, yeah. And so I grabbed one I asked you before because I knew you would yeah, I, I, re- <laughs> I remembered that you brought it up. <laughs> That's why it took so long because you thought about it. Like, I'm like, no. wait, I'm like, wait, I've heard this. I've heard this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think your original answer was probably better because I confused you so much. You just said, Purple. <laughs> <laughs> because my part of my brain was like, you know this, you idiot. You know this. I'm like, uh, uh, brain, please. Give me a hint. You should have just said a boob. A boob. Uh, I wanted, I've been wanting to for so long just pull a question out that we've asked before to see if somebody can remember the answer. Because they're, they're Someone not. Someone did. Uh, and, uh, no, I did. So I actually had to go back and grab our old questions, but I couldn't figure out who I asked what. And I remember at least I asked that one. Uh, Invisible elves. Yeah. uh, That was one I thought about asking, but that one I'm pretty sure was easy. Yeah. I went, uh, I wanted to go back. I think that was like number nine or something. So that was probably like a half a year ago. I remembered it was asked. I couldn't remember the answer. No, I know. The question is easy. The answer is hard. Yes. Uh, so... All right. I have John's trivia brain. Nice. Uh, so with that, that I is can it. bro. <laughs> I asked you the German question. Ian, you got it wrong, it's, John. It's Ian, bro. You didn't um, say it he still German. wins. He you got should know points. that. Did it not sound German? It sounded language. It sounded kind of <laughs> Dutch. Eh. Yeah, actually, there was, uh, there was one of the questions I was going to ask originally that was, uh, what is the Dutch word for condom? It, well, that would have been the the answer, but the actual word ankle sleep. Uh, the only reason I didn't pick, <laughs> 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 I wish. Uh, no, the actual word itself, there is no way I would have pronounced it right. Dutch is it a is like language. forty characters long. Oh my and, god! But then they have a shorter version of it that was just like uh, rubber some rubber man. I think it was. That's a lot shorter, but the actual word for it was like I listened to it. I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can figure out how to say this. So I hit the button to listen to it. I'm like. Oh, no. <laughs> it sounded like. Oh, so- God, it's the Dutch again. All, it sounded like somebody put uh, like the sponge that they used to clean their yeah. sink in their mouth. Dutch is a ridiculous Ooh. language. I think that their word for birth control is no baby having. Um, that sounds like a German word, though. But well, OK, I'm going to hinder is the German. You word. know, I want to I'm going to look this. Oh, um, we're going to look up. Uh, how, OK, um, have British woman say it to you. Dutch word for I was condom. Uh, it just goes condom. I don't. This is river. Condom. condom. <laughs> <laughs> rib. It's a Superman villain. It's not just ribbed. It's spiked for it's, her pain. It's, oh no. Riveting. Even it's I like, dare. It's a cat condom. It's spiked. <laughs> Riveting. Barb. Dare I say turgid condom? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna feel like uh uh like I gotta like why are we looking up condoms? Because uh, this, this is because is what we do now. Do yeah, you need okay. to Alice? I'm not gonna find it. because uh, I thought I could just search it, but yeah, it was it was kind of interesting. Google but I do like I do like translation for condom and it says condom is also condom. <laughs> <laughs> condom. <laughs> it says that it's like it's like condom. It does. The next day, this is like uh, it's like the ring. Like seven days later, you die. Yes. Uh, anyway, I'm imagining the Doom guy with the uh, <laughs> what with the eye, with the eyes going back and forth. Just mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So for the for the next section here, we uh, I was kind of very late in asking for audience questions, uh, so I only got a couple, but that is fine. Uh, so we asked for some audience questions. Somebody that is a patron or a Twitch sub, I have asked in a chat for some specific questions, and they have provided some. Uh, yes. it, thank you, everybody that has supplied the questions because it does add a, a level of variety that we probably cannot do ourselves. So, also unexpected bits, uh, which I also love. So, uh, the first question that we have is from Soul Kitty, who asks, "Are you on Team Sonic or Team Shadow, and why?" Oh, Sonic God. original, he's blue. He doesn't need a gun. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna agree, Team Sonic, only because Team uh, Shadow came later. I like Team Shadow because he has a gun. 
And he's also why like, does he, he have a gun? He ha- he has a gun. He has. But why? A, he has range attack because he's edgy. Range I know, I know that's why he has it. He that's why I don't want a ranged attack. Or yes. is it so that he can off himself? It's because well, the video game also required emo, him to so have a gun. So, yeah. Is he emo? Yes. Yes. He's, he's, ve- he's very he 2000. Was, no. He he's, was, he's very 2008 emo. Emo is, I have control of my life, and I changed myself this way. No, way. no, that's not. Kind of, no, no, that's not. Like dyeing your hair black and whatever. And the, it's, it's, were it's, you ever, you were never goth, no. obviously. Emo no. is, I have control oh, of my life, yeah. but... But I don't feel like it, and I'm sad. I know, but normally you're doing things that stand out, right? Yeah. Time but he was born it. that way. Yeah, yes, he was that's born the whole black thing. and spiky. <laughs> that's what he the He didn't whole... ask to be born, he was... Dad. He was that's what the born emos a are. psychopath killer. The, the emos? <laughs> yes. Is emo still a thing? No. I don't know. No, we got something else these days, but I can't we say We are it. not children anymore. I can't say anything. I don't know anymore, because, like, when I was in high school, emo... Uh, so, is anybody... I'm, uh, I'm guessing for who's listening. Yeah, you guys Wait, we've got to see... Do clothes... Do clove cigarettes still exist? I just want to say... Probably. No. I'm team... Tubbuck Flamato Juice. I'm Team Eggman. No. Team Eggman. They should. Yeah. That was not in the question. But, yeah, but he know. needs a friend. What? Like Eggman really needs a friend. I feel like you're trying to solve a friendship problem with Eggman. He has right. a he has a he crony. doesn't have any friends. He has a crony. He can build a friend. He no. When you're building friends, you're no, alone. He has a human crony. I miss Ooh. my I miss my wife. The movie too. guy. I'm not talking about the movie one. The movie one's Jim Carrey. Um, He's got things going. So for him. Okay. yes, the uh, the video exactly. game. The video actually, game version actually, is a lonely what? old man. The new Eggman has a lot more character than I've ever seen. Oh from. yeah, actually, it was it's Jim Carrey. I if I had to choose, then well, yes, that would was, go Jim he Carrey. Was, he was so expressive I'm on this last. Can we all not, just no, say not, thumbs he, up on both? He movies. had old man. I haven't seen, seen the second one yet. We you weren't do we go with you. Oh, you did. Well, that's right. right. Because we, we yes. were at Pepscon. You two do see it and Not, watch it. Watch the end of it because there are spoilers. I yeah, liked for, uh, the first for a third movie. Egg- I'm guessing. I, I, yeah, I liked Doctor Eggman or Jim Carrey as Eggman in the first movie. Second one, it did you? Do I, I don't know. I, I I feel like. What did he go more into Eggman? He would. He so there there are very specific levels of Jim Carrey levels of ham. And Jim Carrey Ham was at maximum. Like that was like he's the, like that, three, oh, that was the, that, that was the eleven out of ten. Like then he was on Ham. I want to watch that even more now. He because was just yes. all over the place. He had old man flinging his arms all around. He was kicking he, stuff. He he's all over the place. He yeah. flossed. He flossed. And he was not happy while doing no, it. No, he yeah. was not. He was I, very upset. He was a day. very <laughs> reluctant floss. Yeah. Yes. It if was you were, so hilarious. If you were to say normal Eggman, no. But Jim Carrey no. Eggman, yes. But <clears> uh, <throat> uh, so Bus Filming Point did mention that technically Shadow's team is Eggman's team. I yeah, am all for original Eggman, Eggman yeah. because I identify with his body type. <laughs> really, <laughs> really thin legs <laughs> and a very <laughs> round top. <laughs> and yeah, yeah actually, we, maybe he's a leg shape, but that's we, fine. We mentioned that we were doing a, actually it was just in the last uh, Argo Zone video that uh, the Nightly put together where I, I mentioned the yeah. question of what the hell shoe size did he wear? His his feet yeah. were as long as his thighs. <laughs> yes. Well, it like, was, it, it, he's it, like Sideshow Bob feet. Uh, there we go. Yeah, no, like that. But even Sideshow, no, did Sideshow Bob actually have that long of feet? Or yes. He did. Yes, yes oh. I think that was a joke. Uh, well, anyway, okay, so I I, I was, I, I, I'm a teabag man. Yeah. Uh, only because of Jim Carrey. No, he's not the good one. Well, then it Did doesn't you just count. say T-Bag Man? I'm no. T- a T-Bag Man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is is that? That is, what is this, Halo? <laughs> that is a super villain. No, no hero was the fight. The question was Sonic or Shadow. If we're going the whole universe, then we've got Rogue and we've got Amy Rose in here. No, they don't count. Oh, Rogue. Uh, wait, are you Team Ro- no, or Rogue? No, Rogue has tits. Wait, we're, we're going, we're going back. What's the one from Sonic, the, 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 the really the good Sonic cartoon? Tune. Not Sonic Adventure, but that like dark one. The chipmunk thing. Yeah, the, it felt kind of that way. Not the, the rabbit. Chipmunk. The the chipmunk was it like the red ha- the redhead. The redhead one. Yes. 
What was her name? Sandy. San- yeah. What Sandy? the fuck are you guys talking about? No, so there, <laughs> there was the prince and then there was Sandy. Yes, Sandy so was the female like <laughs> <doing my point. laughs> I'm sorry. You guys are laughing about your own thing. I can't stop thinking of Teabag Man defeating Batman. <laughs> uh, no. Wait, so, no. 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 it. <laughs> Cut it out. Hey, it's like, I'm gonna can you, he just I'm wear like a go. Master Chief what? outfit and his superpower Wait, is no. he punch, he does a dog punch. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're on the ground, it's just, uh, uh. What? That's, I'm imagining a death metal Batman, but it's like, no, 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 no do it. Stop it. No. Get up. Get up. No, stop it. Just get up. Get up. Oh, it smells. No, I, I don't like this. No. I, it's not fun anymore. I'm going home. Get up. Just the worst supervillain ever. <laughs> So the Riddler. Like, yeah, my glasses are fogging up. Of like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So okay. So uh, in, in, let's in, move away from no, furries. No, no, next so, question. So, so your original thing, Kyle. There was an old, old. Did you spill something? A little bit. Sonic Underground. No, get so, Sonic, no, it wasn't Sonic Underground. But no, no, there was the old, old cartoon where it was kind of actually dark. There, there were was, two original Sonic cartoons. There was the one where he was fighting the chicken. With where with, that was uh, like very public, cartoony. Yeah, the public service. Hanna like, if a person touches you and you don't want to be touched, that's not okay. Get an adult. And there was the one where he was in space. No, well, no, it was like um, oh, I, no, he we, got like transported to another universe or something where like the or into the future and that, everything was like that, dark and he was trying to help them beat Eggman because Eggman already won and yeah, took over the world. And there was the French prince with yes. no pants. And then there was well, they the, had none of them had pants. Well, yeah, but uh, that's why the fur community loves them. But no, that one was good because that to me was like like the reason that I liked MLP was that it was something that felt there was that maybe, <laughs> but uh, no, it was where it felt both good for kids and good for adults because it was actually pretty dark on some of the things that went because it was an already destroyed world and they're trying to. Was that in the same it. universe as Bucky O'Hare? I don't know what you're talking about. Bucky O'Hare. He. He was a, a rabbit with a duck sidekick. I know that the, I know that the show existed and it had a Sonic with like a squirrel. That's about the f- the most I can remember. Remember, I was like eight when I watched this on Saturday mornings. I was watching it live. I have not seen a single episode of either Bucky O'Hare or the Sonic show that you're talking. You have about. a brain that works differently. But I have a different brain. Yeah, I, am, okay. I, I am also. I young. am not um, neurotypical. No, I'll just show you pictures, Kyle, because it definitely. I'm was, a young man. It was I cool. Don't really I never saw. Uh, we, anyway. we watched. At least five to eight episodes of a, the really, really old Sonic back yeah. oh, when we were at Giz's house. Probably. Okay, that was different. That was the the slapstick Hanna Barbera type. Yeah, yes, with comedy. the chicken robot. This yes, is was the chicken was the chicken robot. Yes, chicken that was hilarious. They were, they were good. Anyways, yeah. so let's get off the Sonic question, uh, <laughs> and we're going to go to the next one. So Nolan Void asks, uh, in twenty years, what will people be nostalgic for? Air, food, yes. Air, well, no. Air. I, I hope we're not. You know, actually, we probably will be nostalgic no, for air. Non, Climate, no, non-bottled air that you could just drink. Um, or, sorry, breathe. drink the air. You can breathe the air out, not out of the tap. We'll, um, we'll be nostalgic, nostalgic for summers. I, I'll be nostalgic for like good internet content. I'll be nostalgic for a because point. No, you're that's, that's you're a content over. provider. I'm, well, yes, but not for twenty oh, years he is. But, but he only makes <laughs> he only makes crap. So but if fine. you think, <laughs> but if you think about what is popular, what it, everything. So because that is the thing is like every like twenty years ago, what was the internet? Cat. N- mm. Well, twenty years ago would have been two thousand two. Cat. Just after Y2K, you're probably talking even before Cat. I think it's even before Rage Comics. I like, mean, wait, what for? For what? So, what if you you're talking about? 20 years ago, internet, how fast things have progressed in 20 years? Yeah, 20, 20 years would you're have been right. 2002. Yeah, yeah. Did Rage Comics exist then? No, that was 2008. Yeah, so it, it even those didn't. YouTube exist then. started 2004 or five. Yeah, even then it was probably yeah. crap. Well, so if well you it, wasn't, it, was, it definitely wasn't more. YouTube back in 2005. I'm going back to screen, screen grabs of Age of Empires 2. So this to now. me, is think about what happened Whoa. to you 20, 20 years ago and what are you nostalgic Whoa. for? I'm definitely nostalgic for a lot of the 90s as much as I hate to admit it. But that's 30 it. years ago. Yeah. I am nostalgic. Stop it. So I'm nostalgic old. for Age of Empires 2. I'm nostalgic so. for uh, – my ideal is just sitting down – 
playing like Super Nintendo Mario Brothers, watching Toonami, Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. And just, I just want to like, so yeah, I want a yeah, horde yeah. of e- eating a Ninja Turtles host is by. <laughs> I want a horde of horse most important archers. One. Yes. See, I, I want horse archers, damn it. <laughs> yes. I, I think in general, like the biggest thing obviously 20 years ago was like it, it's all the cultural touchstones. Like it's the Matrix, it's the resurgence of like the 10 years later Wind uh, Waker. Terminator movies, the Zelda, NBA the, Jam, the, Toon Link. The, the, well, Toon Link was different because no. Toonami became no, Toon obsolete Link by is 20 years ago. That's Wind Waker. It's, That's Game Play. Go, Goosebumps and Saturday well, no. morning and cartoons. So, and so that was the example. So that is what are 20 years ago. Yes. But he's asking in 20 years. So what is popular right now? Fortnite. Well, will that be? There's mis- going to be Fortnite nostalgia. Not, I don't. No. Th- no, I don't think Fortnite. I feel I, like when I think about gaming, I'm not nostalgia nostalgic for specific games. It's genres. So, so I could see Battle Royale. I mean, being a nostalgia thing because yes. that is the thing right now. Not just Fortnite. Fortnite is the Battle Royale. I, so I, think, I could see that. I think there's a very large difference between what we experienced as people who didn't have the internet as it is today to where where somebody who has the amalgamate of every living being put into a corporeal form on the internet well, as a thing. So most, so are all, are we all in our thirties? Well, no. I'm, I'm one year away from it. Wait, so, so you don't count. He's a youngin. Yeah. He's like a Fortnite. Take that nostalgia. He's too young for nostalgia. Yeah. We, so he's not, he's, he's on this conversation. <laughs> let's, let's meet Kyle. So we don't have to worry about Kyle anymore. Yeah. I think you muted me. No, I'm muted, Kyle. No, right. no, no, I, I turned him on. No, no, well, this Kyle, is mine. To, this is my mic. This is mine. No, no, no. I'm tall enough to be over here now. <laughs> you're not tall enough. No. You're just in face. You're already now. back. Um, now you're Aww. muted again. Um, no. no, no. I mean, let's just get the elephant out of the room. Like, My Little Pony G4 probably going to be nostalgic for no, it. Well, no, okay. You're so, already nostalgic. Especially no, the early he didn't ask years. what would be nostalgic for you. He says, what would be nostalgic for people? I mean, My Little Pony, at least Generation 4, is if, definitely entered the, the well, it's pop, pop culture. It's pop culture, certainly. If, yeah. if I had to say, it's probably going to be, in terms of gaming, Battle Royale, because I see Battle Royale probably dying off in the next... What's Battle Royale? Fortnite, Valorant. Anything where you get PUBG. dropped in, where you get dropped into a zone. I don't a give zone. a crap about any Call of Duty Warzone. You get dropped into a zone, it keeps shrinking, and you basically just keep doing crap Why would they stop happen. doing that? I feel like... I don't see... No, because it's a fad. There's because a people like change. They like... And, and that was a change. But eventually... That something else is going to pop up that takes the interest. So I don't think better. I think better is going to be around for probably oh. the next probably four to five years. Do you but think I think open it's going world to die. games are going to die. No, oh, they're not going to get bigger. If, no, if, no, they are. If they There's die, no way they don't. If they die, no. Actually, if anything, I think it's the opposite. Because as computer technology advances and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, people are going to want more than just a single experience. They're going to want an environment that they can get attached to. For a company, but they're that so is wrong. So 20 years from now, I love Breath them. of the Wild, do you think there's going to be people trying to jump um, back on the bandwagon? So there's certain games that I could see people being nostalgic for, but it's going to be more of, uh, of genre. Uh, because if you – 20 years is a huge amount of That's time. That's a generation. Mm-hmm. It, the only time I can see people being nostalgic for a specific game is if that game literally broke boundary. It broke everything. Like Final Fantasy VII was something that yeah. people could specifically be – a nostalgic for Breath but, of the Wild or Half Life Two, Breath of the Super Wild, Super Mario Brothers. I could see maybe, but not over a twenty year gap. Mm-hmm. Super Mario Brothers is definitely my nostalgia game. Then Mario Three, yeah, because those a lot two. of those were were defining. Yeah, they In were. Set, Final Fantasy Seven was defining. Breath of the Wild, it didn't invent it was anything. Amazing. It pretty much defines this is what open world is if you spend time and do it right. Yeah, but. But they didn't define open world. They didn't world. define it, and I think it there's... It didn't. It good. just refined it. Did? Um, More so than any other game. It's, yes. I haven't played it. You so. walk out of a room, and you can just climb up the wall I, next to the door that you climbed up. That's up. open world. Like, that is open world. I, you, you did day Z. You, you yeah. walk out of the room, and the first thing that you see is... There's the end boss. I you w- can walk forward and then fight the end boss. I will say the game that truly defined That's open world for me, and this is just for me. It's it's not novel. 
It yeah. is refining no, the whole process no, from you can perfect climbing it. up radio towers. Yeah. People have done art JRPGs better since Final Fantasy yeah. VII, yeah. but people re don't remember them as much as the one that defined yeah. it. For me, the open world concept, the first game I played where you legit walk into a world and you can just go off and do whatever you want was Fallout 3. Like the, the walking out of that vault where you were linear and then all of a sudden the light hitting you and then all of a sudden you can just walk off in any direction you want. That blew my mind. But that is yeah. your, okay. your defining. But yeah. we're thinking so, 20 yeah. years from now. Yeah. What if you, you think take, it's nostalgic, If you you've take Fallout it. 3 and you put it side by side with New Vegas, which do people have more positive reactions well, to? In New Wait, Vegas, how many, one is do, a better more, do more people have... Do more people reference Fallout 3 or do more people reference Fallout New Vegas? I would I think Fallout, I think New Vegas. Yes, but I kind of yes. consider 3 and New Vegas kind of the same game because they ran on the same engine. Would you say and yeah. used a lot of the same assets? If you were to say which you well, if I were to say which you're more nostalgic for, Half-Life 2 or Half-Life 2 Episode 2? I consider Half Life Two episode two, and I consider all of Half Life Two the same yes, game. Yes, because yeah. how long much, much time has passed? Yeah, twenty years. So we're talking well, eighteen approximately. But we're talking about like if you have games that follow other games, at that point with that time and distance, mm -hmm. Fallout Three, Fallout Four, and Fallout New Vegas are all going to be descriptive of Fallout. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm maybe trying to... not Fallout Four. Fallout One the and Two, game. those are one game. Fallout 3, yeah. yes, 4, and New Vegas, that's one game. Yeah, yeah. I, um, 20 years from now, they Not would four, be the same. 3 and New Vegas. Vegas. Well, like, even right and now, four is, four. Four is 20 years from now, 4, four is Well, 4 is four. a different no, engine. No, it's not. It's well, not. is Skyrim and uh, Oblivion? Would you consider no. it? No. no, so right now maybe, but in so, but they're no. on two different engines is the thing. No, but, but even now, they're different classes. Yeah, they're different. But even That's now, like, like it is. Uh, even Skyrim now. came out in. Oh, even now, I would say Skyrim steamrolls Morrowind. I would say yeah, Fallout Four and Skyrim I for, I for are doing the same. Game. I did not say Morrowind for a reason. You, yeah, you didn't. Morrowind and Skyrim are the only two uh, the, Elder Scrolls games that I've played. Um, and you even played I, Oblivion. No, Oblivion I liked is, Morrowind much more than I liked Skyrim. Uh, but Skyrim, oh yeah. to me, in culture. Kind of bulldozes I, Morrowind. I, I think just, I would say Oblivion was the one who kind of said it for me. Morrowind is a big world, but it doesn't feel like it. It's a it's, big, buggy Bethesda world. I think. I think in general, it's, the thing that is a cultural touchstone will be the same thing that we've always come apart or come come across in our young lives. Is something that has a good story that is well written and well put together, even if it takes a little bit of our own sort of like. Input so, to to create, yeah, like our, our own little bit of personality to put into that thing. So if if you put yourself into the story and it is well written, but it adds enough, uh, it adds enough like oomph to give you a good start that you can put yourself into the story. That's great. Like Fortnite's not going to remember it in twenty years because it's going to be just a thing well, that happens. There's and no it's story. Story. So the thing people are going to be nostalgic for is the Switch. It's going to be Animal Crossing. It's cool. Yes, I would agree. I've yes. never played it. No, people haven't played it. You aren't. But the Switch. Yeah, you have think of others. Yeah. It's Start, just like Wii yes. Sports. It's something that you, it's can, you can put huge yourself in. Yeah, cultural. I think but that do it, you think, it, to me, it depends. This is me being a Nintendo fanboy. I'm going yeah, to buy. If Nintendo has been fairly competent in the last couple of years no, where they've just really put out. Even when they haven't been, I'm going to throw money at them. I, I, them. Yeah, I think that so. if the Steam Deck is successful in so far. It looks like it has been actually successful. I think that the Steam Deck only exists because the Switch exists. Yeah. So the mobile market, oh, and well, in that you could even go back to the Wii U. Yeah, the Wii U was was not great. It was it was an attempt, and the Switch. Actually, but the Wii I, U was a stepping stone actually, to the Switch. And, and also that though. I think in 20 years, the VR experience is going to be so different that people who yeah. played VR, which is going to be I remember, mostly old people, to be honest. I remember Wait, back when we be, had It's going to be very nostalgic for old yeah, people so in their old, old are age. Are you saying that <laughs> consoles are going to be the nostalgia? I remember oh, yeah. when you had a controller in one hand. You just hold, held the one <laughs> yes. thing with both yes. hands. Yes, I agree. I actually want to go back to Animal Crossing. As somebody who's never played for Animal Crossing, you say Animal Crossing will be nostalgic in 20 years. 
but uh, my thought is there's going to be a Animal Crossing new one in 20 years. Yeah. So which Animal Crossing is going to be this thousand? Yeah, I don't think that the new Animal Crossing that popped up is anything genre defining. Yeah, it's like saying you're going to be nostalgic for Pokemon. Yeah, it's ninety you, five. You're going to be nostalgic yeah, for red and blue. But you have to find something else. that people. I, I mean, I, I have nostalgia for people slowly. ran into a cliff that they had to climb, and they remember that climb. Mm-hmm. Wait, so are yes. you saying that well, people it, are? It, it's all your emotional investment for yourself. Are you saying people are going to be nostalgic for quarantining? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say no. I remember no. when I didn't have to leave my house no, for that, a year and a that, half. No hey, person mattered. Working child. from no. home for a year and a half? That was amazing. Yes. So can we yeah, go back well, to that? They're going to be nostalgic for that. They're no, wrong. I, that, my dog loved me. If I could continue to work from home 24 7, <laughs> or not 24 7, but like 4 8 or whatever. And for eight, the, the yes, month. Yes, four eight. I have a weird schedule. <laughs> Not twenty four seven. Four eight. No, if I if I could continue to work from home, but also still uh, enjoy some of the social aspects, then yes. But it always comes with a pro and con. Anyways, yeah. um, that question went on yes, for a long time. Was, so, was. but actually, I love the nostalgia thing, especially to me thinking about what nostalgia coming up because to us, if you had to pick a time period in your life. Like, what age would you consider to be the most nostalgic 90s. age? No, like, well, pick an age. Yeah, I, I, it would have been from 8 to 13. Yeah, and I, I think would, for most yeah, people, yeah, it's yeah. around then because 10 to 13, you're, you're yeah. at the point where you're remembering most of the things that you're doing, but you're also young young enough that everything is influential. Well, that's the and, that's, that's literally the biological impressionable age. Yeah, and I, so to us, so for me, that age was— Clinton late, administration. Yeah, it was late nineties, early. Mean, two, uh, that would have been. Why would you? Have you don't remember the war in Bosnia? Like, if you cared about politics, I when you were thirteen. No, no, yeah, <laughs> but I didn't. Wrong. No, so I. I remember my president saying we were bombing someone, and it was a European country. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, most of the stuff I remember is from mid nineties up to two thousand. Because so, yeah, it does fit in that range. So it's more of in that age range right now. And when I like talk to my brother, and because he's got some kids that are kind of in that range, a lot of them are doing Fortnite and stuff like that. So what is impressionable Roblox. to them? Wait, that, R- Roblox, not Roblox. I well maybe actually maybe that's gonna well, be nostalgia. Well, it depends on where it that's, goes. Somebody out there. That's yeah. why when you got to get kids in the Lincoln Law. Um, anyways, but the, uh, the I, I, my also, niece's boyfriend <laughs> some, makes his money by building robots. Well, I need to end this conversation. Okay, okay. Wholesome <laughs> Christian Lincoln Log play. I loved Lincoln Logs as a kid. Uh, no, so yes, that is called nostalgia uh, because you're old. Uh, my yeah. great grandmother used to we, let we me play that. Like we said nine to thirteen. So nostalgia for you is probably prohibition. <laughs> yep, I certainly didn't stick. I remember what I couldn't uh, drink, but no, I drank anyways. A, you need a good anyways. Danish tool. No, so we're Danish. gonna we need it. I'm, I want to at least do one more question. Okay. So we have okay. three, and we're at an hour and a half right now. So right, uh, let's see here. So answer that one. <laughs> I did no, like we, thank you, Nolan, for that question because that was actually a fun discussion. People are gonna be nostalgic for the um, whiz. The Wiz! Because uh, we're going to take off and uh, we're going to be a cultural phenomenon and uh, people people will remember us. No. No, I'm going to die in a foxhole somewhere. Fuck the, you. Uh, the one of them, I like the question. Uh, a flutter kind, I'm not going to ask it because it would take us, not, not flutter kind, uh, sorry, silver code as a question, but it would probably uh, uh, take just, a while to think it up. It was just ask it. If no, it was about it. conspiracy theories that you might believe oh. in, but I think that takes thinking. <laughs> yeah, like those fools who yes. believe in the moon. Uh, no, so if we're only going to do one more. Towers ever existing. So we'll do one more. So uh, no, people believe in. Uh, Bus filling bone asks uh, a question uh, that you are forced to evacuate Earth okay. because of destruction. Boom. It, so kaboom. Or, 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 you know, you can go with whatever. The moles or finally a, took a over. very um, slow kaboom. You have Michael finally succeeded in teaching the hamsters how to make fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was the end of everything. It was the fire apocalypse. So you have the choice to live on another planet. What, what, what planet would it be and why? And I know you're not going to maybe know, like, I'm going to live on, like, E62145. Well, it's going to um, be Xerxes 5, probably. No, so I would say... It, it, Something if, in the Tau Ceti system shut up what? kyle so if you were to pick like a one or two like things that you would want on a planet like if Oxygen, you were to live well other than water, the things required to be alive women 
No, no, I'm with John. I'm the only man. I'm requiring. No, no, John's John's right. We need women. Wait, John implies that you arrive there and there's already women. Well, it's Venus. It's Venus. Yes. (laughs) We're all gonna go live on Venus. So we're all very lonely. All right. Oh my God! This is where all the Polish women went. Jesus Christ! They're beautiful. So John arrives in the planet full of sulfuric acid. Okay. So John's dead. Okay, no, we're, all, we're Wait, all going to Venus. How are there We've women there? If there's, it's full of sulfuric acid. They, they've been I mean, there if it's my last death, it's, it's my last breath. I'm no, going to Venus to find them. They've been there so long. It's like uh, it's no, like we're snake already poison. on Venus. It's like snake poison. They've been exposed to sulfuric acid so long. You're I'd rather die. That is going to well, be we will die. That's yes. going to be horrible for this. Yeah, but we're no. going to be there like, you know what? It was a good no, It was, was a good last. Hey, <laughs> L'Oreal. The Warrior crushed by the atmosphere. Uh, L'Oreal what showed up there. What kind of skin products yes. combat sulfuric acid? L'Oreal has been there for years. Okay. Okay. So, may, or no, Maybelline. Well, She wasn't maybe born it's with Maybelline. it. It's Maybelline. Do they have yeah. it for men? I really can't see that your skin Mars? is any different than theirs. Are you saying there's a Venus so, Maybelline? So that means that yeah, of course. I have the choice between using women's shampoo and a death. I'm I'm going to switch shampoos. I mean, if it's... Uh, no, it, yeah. death. It's I mean, no, whatever. No, if it's I, your I can ve- switch shampoos. Screw if you, Froctus. <laughs> if it's, it's your all. Venus, if it's your fire, then it's your desire other than death. <sighs> Wow, we're all yeah. just running out. No, we're None going of to this Venus. is sponsored. Yes, we're all, um, <laughs> we're all very lonely. That's I feel like actually... Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't be I, here if I've, we weren't lonely. I mean, it's a problem because I've heard so many commercials with that uh, catchphrase in no, the 90s. I, they were here, everywhere. Here's the thing people need no. watching need to know, though. Oh, no, my um, Everyone here is very lonely, and if you see one of us leave... It's because we stopped being lonely. <laughs> oh, but yes. luckily for everyone, yes, we're gonna be here forever. I yeah, forever. yeah. Actually, that's the whole thing. Like, oh. I'm planning to move soon, and it's because I know the people I'm probably gonna have as a roommate aren't gonna go anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Wait, so that, no, uh, I still, uh, I'm still on Match.com. It uh, could happen. So that, I'm gonna drink more. <laughs> no, so uh, it, no, so if I had to pick certain properties of a planet, if I had to go to another planet and pick certain properties, if I could pick anywhere to go. Mm. I want for, seasons. For, for, <laughs> you already want well, trees. No, that you're, that you're implies greedy. other things too. No, I, impi- I would. Like all trees. that implies is that the axis of the planet is at a tilt. Okay, yes. so a tilted planet. Okay, so is there in the, somewhere in the Goldilocks zone so that yep. I won't die? So if you had two properties, two properties, eternally. you have a tilt. Is there anything else you'd want? I would go mad. Breathable. I, I need a very oh, okay. harsh wood. Okay, so. Oh, no, wait, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna imply a couple things. So Goldilocks wait, zone. No, 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 I'm gonna apply a couple things. One, that it is livable outside without a helmet. So you have oxygen, you have Nitrogen. at least temperature, even if it's co- too cold or too hot, it's livable. Um, and that the gravity isn't going to kill you. So it might be too he- a little heavy or a little light, but it's survivable. So um, you can choose to say that I prefer one or the other, but so my you have seasons. What well, is there anything else you want? I wish for Starbucks. Women. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, I'm pretty on sure planet. that the planet didn't naturally evolve a Starbucks. So, Starbucks are everywhere. So the premise <laughs> is there's one on this no, planet. You don't drink Starbucks. <laughs> so, yeah, but it, I want to know that coffee can grow on this planet. That it's actually the, it's okay. a 40k universe. So, so I, his premise: you yeah. were, this is the first spaceship. You're on the first spaceship. First humans. First like Earth genes. Like cows don't exist here yet. Mm-hmm. Coffee doesn't well, exist I'm pretty sure. Sh- okay, it's so coming with. If, well, if yeah, it, it you're is definitely coming with. The, the yeah. implication is that I wouldn't say that the ground can can grow the plants, but you brought the things that are needed. You brought so dirt. infrastructure is brought with you. Okay. Well, I, I think in general, if you're doing that, then it's going to be women. It's going to be an animal to hunt. Wait, okay, so we're saying and the planet. To hunt. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> planet. So the planet already had Wait, this. So is Kyle this Avatar? Wants alien, <laughs> Kyle wants alien women. And I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> <laughs> That it, was that not the reason man colonized space? <laughs> unless, unless there's zeros, ones, what? and a superposition. There's just, there's just like on, on the spaceship traveling to the next universe w- above the cryopods. There's just a little, a little blurb 
by Zap Brannigan that says, <laughs> oh, I'll fuck anything as long as it has you know, a... This is where thing that trails off. No, so I like, just a quick thing. So, Bus Only Pony Chad here. So, thank you guys for coming in Chad here. Uh, says they better be hot alien women. I, so, it's so I mean, they don't, I mean, like, depends on who you like. Well, it depends. Like, so there's Personality o- does matter. There's always mm-hmm. the, the thing of where they say, like, an alien species would probably differ so much from humanity that it, or anything on earth that you may not even recognize it as life so like is a big sludge blob um if i've seen the internet they'll fuck anything well here's here's the thing you got to be aware of though i saw an episode of enterprise where the chief engineer like touched hands with some alien woman and in doing so she impregnated him no, that's Futurama with Kip. No, this was an episode of Wait, like, Michael, he grew nipples on his wrists. Michael, are you taking all of your scientific knowledge from Star Trek? No, I'm just saying he grew nipples on his wrists. So you want nipple wrists. And had like he got impregnated okay. by an alien. All right, Wait, so dude, this don't, could happen to no. you, Kyle. <laughs> Wait, I'm just saying saying impregnated through nipples. No, they touched hands. No, no, so okay. like a bunch of hands. pebbles. So, Michael, oh, so you want it to, happened. You want what was your want? You want seasons, right? I want okay, seasons. Okay, so he wants nipple wrists. Okay, I don't so Kyle, want what do you want? No, wrist. no, you're done. Okay, we're gonna put you down there. So, all right. So, what do you want, Kyle? <laughs> I want women. They come. I with. want a fierce animal to hunt. I want a barbecue. <laughs> Wait, you want an edible? <laughs> so Kyle wants an edible animal on the planet and women. Edible women? Why you? <laughs> why not just have one <laughs> if this edible animal? animal? <laughs> If they're tough enough, might as well. All right, Kyle. You're just going to eat the women, man. That's a step too far for me, but... uh, (laughs) Why did we get back to cannibalism again? (laughs) Argo, Argo, what's what's your answer here? Yeah, this is going an interesting way. So if I had to pick a real answer... If you're... (laughs) um, I'm assuming you're not going as far as edible animals. No, so so I am an astronomy nerd, so I like that type of thing. And so I think about... What is it? star system? No, so what is it that I can't see on Earth that I would have otherwise? I would want to be on a planet that has a ring system Ooh, be because, great. holy crap, like uh, playing uh, um, No Man's Sky. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's true. If we, if that would be if, so cool. If you had a ring around the Earth, you would be constantly looking up at the night Only, sky. We just gotta only the if, if, if you always it's had the ring there, no. It would always be there. But if you never had a ring there and suddenly went to a planet that had a ring... Oh, no, so no, I, I disagree. If you were to look up, we look up in the night sky even well, today yes. and look at the but sky. It's like the moon is very so, so, like yeah. for, for instance, so it would be an entire ring. No, so for instance, we live in in Minnesota. So if if you were to go to Colorado and you look at a mountain, you're going, holy crap! Like that's a mountain. That is really We've cool. Got the Big iron mountain range. Yeah, but then when you go out, uh, it, it, so the mountains are cool because you don't see them every day. If yeah. the rings were always there, they are always there. If, if anything, if you went to a planet that didn't have rings, then it'd be like, whoa, I can see the stars. Well, yeah, like if I think of whoa, uh, it's it's blue when it's daytime. Yeah, like yeah, I to me, it's, I mean, it's the awkwardness of like this is not the reality that my brain is accustomed to. It, de- it depends on the time yeah. though, because if we were at our if our current timeline right now is with. Uh, a ring in our space, we would look up and be like, oh, there are currently people out there mining. That's what we do when we look at the moon. Yeah. yeah. Well, so. But not, but, but more realistic. Like I it think would be if some. Within, it would be within range of the same space. I think if somebody who lived on a ring planet with a ring constantly around of it came to this planet and saw our moon and that uh, and their planet our moon didn't is have awkward. a moon. Yeah, our, our moon, moon is our, our moon does not work like a ring. Yeah, no, 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 no they would be blown away weird. by it. Our moon is n- yes, is well, well outside yes, the norm. Yes. Yeah. It, our moon is big compared it, to and, most. And moons. the fact that it's tidally locked, yeah, is well, also yeah. very strange. Uh, well, that I wouldn't consider as strange as the fact of the our moon of for how close well, it is well, is the, huge. The, the size, the rotation, also yeah. the the. Uh, circumference of the uh, the orbit yeah. is very But anyway, so my two things, anyway, so the one would be a ring. If I could not get that, I would want to live in a habitable moon because like a, around, around a gas planet. So you're well, like Ganymede. Yeah, I, you, you would never lose I, a fantastic uh, fantastic view oh ever. My, oh, that view God, is That would amazing. be amazing. So like because there is 
just if you want just a, a moment of peace, it's just going out in the middle of the night in an empty field and just laying there and looking at the stars. Like that is so good. But if you were able to do that and see like Jupiter. a planet, not, not Jupiter, but like just any planet, yeah. this mm. giant planet. Now, that's why I say a, a gas giant that would just yeah. cover the night sky because you are insignificant compared to that. Like, that would be so well, cool. Well, I, I, I know that you and me love playing Elite Dangerous. And Argo yeah. died a couple times and he got sick of it. Well, but well, well, there, you, there you were, killed me. I accidentally. <laughs> I, I, um, I'm just thinking, but Argo like, wants to lie out in the middle of a field, look up and see a planet and think, oh, I'm so small. And Kyle and I want to lie out in the middle of the field and see a woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it's, I it's like, not, not a woman, uh, but like a, like a big hot, woman. Like a I, hot, like, big woman. I like the reminder. An alien woman. And for Kyle, it's a big edible woman. As long yes. as you can crush watermelons uh, with eyes. And you uh, shoot her and you put her on a spit. No, I have... <laughs> <laughs> one of the ga- one of the big ch- uh, game changing moments in my life was uh, looking up at the sun and not no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> staring at the sun. I know. I have to look at the I sun. Have not made a period. No, yet. no. <laughs> Super Mario sixty four. You just stand in the middle of the room. And look at the sun. sun. You go to a hidden level. It's amazing. You go blind. You uh, go to your own level. You I, get your, I your a, hat gains wings. <laughs> I need a and short. And you can fly wherever you want, especially off the bridge. I need a shortcut button to mute y'all. Oh, uh, okay. No, so <laughs> no, so uh, no. It was looking up at the sun and no longer seeing it as a sun, but as a physical living spherical object that was sitting far away. And you think about how big it is and how small you are to the universe. And it was, uh, I was at a really rough time in my life, and being able to feel how small I was, and therefore to see how small the problems I was dealing with were was what turned me around to actually start improving myself. And so to be able to look up in the sky and see not just a sun, like a, like a circle that's no bigger than our moon, but to see something that literally encompasses the entire planet and shows you that you are literally nothing. So if there is any problems in your life, how small they are compared to the universe, that they mean nothing and just – enjoy life and say screw it and now well, i'm just yeah. thinking of super mario where the sun just frowns and then comes i went, I went <laughs> I mean, so terrified I mean, yeah. john i just I, had I, an emotional I, moment yeah, when I, you brought up I, mario. I was thinking about the yes. Ma- i was thinking about the mayans and how they're like man that song is the sun is like i was thinking bullshit about how the sun is just a burning ball of gas and we shouldn't attach any emotion no, to it. It's a giant nuclear explosion. It's not about what it is. Than it's any of us can ever, yeah. any effect that But the fact that you have. that you burned some brain cells looking at the sun was technically a sacrifice. No, so it wasn't about enough. looking at it. No. It was about no longer seeing it as a circle, but a sphere. Like you are literally looking at a three-dimensional object that is eight light seconds away, See, so I, far away, and yet you are seeing its edges physically from one end to the other. You have to move your eyes to do that. Like it, it, it's it's not about just hearing the words, but it clicked in my brain. And it was a cl- the I remember the moment in the exact place I was on the road where it clicked. You should see his total solar eclipse. It's awesome. I mean, I no, shut up. I, I can understand, but at the same time, like the, the there, I there is there's a a position in everybody's lifetime where you hit that. Not everybody's. No, my my big brain moment. No, like that no, was in everybody's life, even on your de- even on your deathbed, you will hit it. But there is that there's that break point where you will snap into reality's focus. I where you, where well, you there could, goes gravity. You, where you, yeah, exactly. But you could have become, you could have been completely before, and then you're an after. And that's yeah, I, the same thing happened to me when I looked at one of those big boy statues. And oh, hell yeah. that giant burger that was larger than yeah. anyone. All oh, right, Mike. Oh, right. All right, we're at like I yeah. understand we're that done. because that, we, we're that ending burger, on, we're yeah. ending on big boys. As soon so what's the mention of big boys? Wait, what, what, what did we drink? What oh, did we yes. drink? Like <laughs> too small of a man, to ever. <laughs> Michael, oh, shut up. You're done, Michael. Apparently, all right, Michael brought kombucha. <laughs> so yes, I don't so, know what kombucha is, but I brought it. Read the can. No, so let me let me finish. So okay, we're we're gonna end there. That that with that was discussion is gonna go forever. So we're gonna end there. So let me go over kind of what we drank. So thank you guys for bringing up any questions we have a lot of stuff that we drank kind of through so john four men. For life, what did you bring i well, made no, a three tom, woman. Uh, an adulterated tom collins tom collins what is in there so in, it usually uses lemon juice and simple syrup and instead i just used a limoncello 
uh, along with gin and uh, soda water. That's why I taste. So I'm good. I'm gonna say that mine was soda water and then uh, the gin. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, yeah, because it was very much a lot of nothing and then a lot of something. Yeah, that it, was that. Okay, so, uh, so that was what, and then you also brought a. I brought a Duchess. No, oh, no, no. Uh, John also brought oh, this John's one, brother. uh, the double milk stout. Yeah, pretty good. Left hand does stouts. Left hand really brewing well. company. Um, so really yeah, well. it was actually not bad. It was a little bit more fruity of a stout, uh, it's, but not bad. Yeah, it's really. We broke the really record thick. of this podcast. Just a little bit. Uh, so that was for what time or for big brain versus small uh, yeah, so not brain. Kyle, Wait, it, no, we went from sonic fan theories to uh, here's me contemplating the size of the universe and my smallness in it. Don't stare okay, at so the So, Kyle, sun. what did you bring? Uh, well, I brought the Duchess downstairs, du- du- Duchess? Duchess downstairs, which is a uh, an amber ale, which is definitely not an amber no, ale. No, it's a Flemish red sour, a Flemish red sour, yes. And then I also did brought Kentucky coffee. That? Which is the day no. uh, in our stout. We so we had it. a lot of stouts tonight. No, it, the Duchess is not a stout. It's not, but I'm no, saying I, that that one was a um, stout. In terms of milk stout, not bad. I, I, I think fine. I don't think it was my favorite in this, any way. This uh, basil, the basil raspberry that he brought was fantastic. I'm it's kombucha. Kombucha. I might try that next uh, after left. podcast. There's one left. So the um, alcohol killed the extra. It's, it's very very good. I drank a lot of stouts tonight, so I didn't feel like jumping into a fruity one. Need to have the cultures in it. Uh, but um, I so I brought I I, ha, I did well I brought a uh, the nitro uh, coffee stout from Guinness but I'm the only one that drank one of those beforehand so uh, that one doesn't really count. Uh, the, otherwise, I brought oh, what was the one I don't remember the name of it. We all had well the three of us had one earlier downstairs. Uh, the the one that was a six the pack of the, the bed paddle no one, duck, pond. Duck, duck pond duck pond duck pond it was from the ale. tree what the uh, lo- yeah it was not it, lone oak uh, it was kind of a I don't know if it was an ale that was more like a lager it was a brown brown ale it was a brown it was, a brown ale. Ale. Yeah. It was good it was you were yeah, saying it was yeah. very malty it was it was a very, very it was very duck red. pond is a very malty brown ale yeah yes. I I um I that is definitely one that I so to me it like beers are kind of split into can I have one of it or more than one is duck pond Minnesota and like, uh, yes, I believe right. it was. So to that me, was... like, like a Guinness, the coffee stout, I could drink one of those. It's amazing. But more than that, probably not so much. That's one I can have more than one. Yeah. It was actually very good because you were like, oh, that's really good. Well, they're also not in the pint glass, so it helps. Yes. Uh, uh, and then uh, and then I did actually I brought a bottle of a sour that I did. We actually didn't open. Well, so we'll drink it downstairs. We, we can maybe drink that downstairs. Well, so people who don't have to drive. Well, but. it's well, it's one bottle. It's going to be split into four. It'd be a taste. It'd be a taste. Uh, but anyway, anyway, what did you bring? Uh, I brought a wild state cider and raspberry hibiscus. And, uh, and the more important good. one, which is. Yeah. That kombucha. No, you'll have to explain this to me, John, because what I brought a hard kombucha. What's kombucha? I bought it and drank it. Now so I don't know what it was. Kombucha, it basically, it's, you know, throw living yeasts and cultures into a yogurt thing and you have it keep living until you drink it. It's pretty good. And then you put alcohol in it to kill the living stuff. Oh, that's so delicious. It was pretty good. That's pretty tasty. Um, yeah, it's, I, it's a hippie drink. I'm a, it it got me like Japanese, actually. actually. Camp- no, kombucha is um, definitely a hippie drink. So I think I, I thought it was Japanese. So Wild State is I think or Korean. That, that's the name of the. Oh, that's kimchi. Yes. yes. So, Don't drink alcoholic kimchi. Mm. So Wild State is the name like of that brewery. Name. So again, we're all from Minnesota. So Wild State is a local brewery, indeed, yes. which makes that kombucha. All one. four of us local. are from Minnesota. Yeah. Well, I hope yes, so. All Minnesota. Um, so I think I don't know what some of these other uh, ones are from, but the kombucha one and the cider are definitely from Minnesota. Uh, I we like buying local. Um, and if you can Preferred buy local, uh, yeah. that is, it, yes. you're, you can get some good stuff and you're helping out some Depends local business. On where you yeah, are. your tax dollars, uh, uh, I, yeah. uh my fill cost- your, fill your potholes. All the co- tax dollars. I mean, okay. Yeah. Anyway. Infrastructure is important. It Michael, is? last word. Yes. And Michael, we need, we, what are you doing? What do you, what's your word? Um, lunch and loaf. <laughs> <A> lunch and <laughs> loaf. <laughs> Yay.